that have ever surged deep into opposition territory. With one of the more regular suspects, Smith. Richie. Maybe on Walker. Pugh. Pugh! That'll do it! That will do it! Pugh for Bournemouth! But the gold fans is raised. Everyone here knows what that could mean to this football club. Good evening. We are live. Hope you're doing well. This is our setup for today. My name's Sam Davis. I'm here with the main men, Mr. Tiggs and also Tom Jordan. How are you, boys? All good. Looking forward to watching the game. How about you? Yeah, I'm really excited. So, look, we're playing a team that's in the third tier in Spanish football. Their stadium is still bigger than ours and it's got the backdrop, which is unbelievable, of some huge rock. But we're not actually playing there tonight. We're playing at the football centre in Marbella and it is Marbella-esque temperatures here today, boys. Whoa, love so it. You don't need Marbella when you're out here, do you? Bournemouth over Marbella every day. But uh, yeah, it looks quite nice though, doesn't it, where they're playing tonight? It looks quite a nice setting there. It does. Hopefully you can hear us okay. If you can, what would be a favour for us if you like this video and tell us that everything is working okay, but just give a thumbs up in chat to let us know that you can hear us all good. Fingers crossed you can. And in the meantime, I'll tell you what's coming up tonight. So it is a busy show for us tonight in the backdrop of our beautiful garden. We've got an AFC Bournemouth friendly to take in and the teams are walking out onto the pitch shortly. And uh, in fact, they're just about walking out now. So we'll go over the teams. Also, we'll talk about our new kit reveal. We can't not, can we? Goalkeeper moves. Is Beggs off to Everton? And will we get Woodman? We'll talk about that with the boys. The Twitter transfer latest as well. Be interesting to take in the latest rumours. And also, Chelsea, the friendly has been announced. We're going to be talking about that as well. And a number of you have been having ticketing issues. So were you affected? Let us know. Because we're working closely with the Supporters Experience Group to make sure that you can get the points allocated onto your account plus any other business too we'll go over everything else that's gone on at dean court and beyond evening guys evening. i think i've just uh just noticed their early shout is lloyd kelly looks like he's got the armband we were wondering might be before um who would be skipper looks like it's lloyd kelly and there was a little teaser that earlier today wasn't there? <laughs> possible from dan juma's instagram tom yeah saw it on dan juma's instagram mate uh just gave me a message and said, do you reckon this could be a, a teaser? I think it was a picture of Lloyd Kelly and the new kit, wasn't it? Earlier. Ooh. And um, Dan Juma commented with one of them little C's, as in like yeah. Skipper. And I'm thinking, yeah, it I wouldn't surprise me if we were to lose Steve Cook, but let's hope that doesn't happen. Would you think that could happen? I think oh. it could happen. I think oh, it could. Okay. He's stayed home, isn't he? This kit, though, I can see us lifting a trophy with this kit, don't you think? <laughs> well, we've, we, we've got to talk about this kit. But, uh, you know, some people are saying that the stripes are too thin. Some people are, are are saying that it's not particularly nice kit. It's uh, the away kit looks looks very nice. The white kit with the red and yeah, like black that. trim that looks really good. But as for that one, not too sure. It's been a while since we've had stripes that thin. It always yeah. feels like we don't yeah have that. So I wonder if it's just a little bit. No one likes change today. Everyone's a bit like oh, I'm not sure. looking at it now. I don't mind it. You know, um, I always like to reserve judgment till I put one on as how it is, but. I do prefer the away one on first first viewing. Yeah, I agree with you. I completely agree. Uh, we got George saying, loving the retro kit. Mark Cole is watching the match on the laptop. You guys on the tablet, superb. Um, also, what else have we got? Chris Edwards is saying, I like both kits. Brilliant. Good stuff. Um, good to see everyone saying all good boys in terms of the audio. So that's good. And whilst they do kick off, hey, it's best we check out the team. And it is Travers, Kelly, Brooks, Solanke, we've got our new signing, Mark Hondes, Jack Stacey, Gavin Kilkenny, Phil Bill, Anthony Zamora, and Ibsen Rossi. I think he's from the youth, isn't he? Yeah, was he on load at Kilmarnock? Is that right? Yeah, he was Kilmarnock. on Kilmarnock. Yeah, yeah Kilmarnock. So I think he's a very a, good season there. Yeah, big centre half, isn't he? But that's a, it's a bit of a step up for him. But yeah, it looks like he's in there with, with Kelly early signs and just trying to have a look how they shape up because it seems like quite an attacking midfield, doesn't it? Because obviously, no Lerma, no Pearson, no Lewis Cook. So it does look quite attacking, but. um. 
yeah, I wonder if, if Kilkenny's going to be... Remember in the cup game where Kilkenny sat quite deep, but then we also yeah. know he can play quite advanced as well. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of the youngsters, to be fair. And Mark mm. as well, actually. Well, on the bench, uh, this is who, um, who we've got today. Oh, what's we just given the ball away, nearly, yeah, but uh, we we're all right. Yeah. around at the back. This is this is uh, Tyndall Ball. Tyndall Ball. Ball. So we've got um, Dennis Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> we've got Camp um, Bevan, Greenwood, Glover, Shering, uh, Curran, Brown, Mariah, Well, Scrimshaw, Sadie, and also Sam Surridge as well. So that's the team. And look, during the show, it is a friendly. We appreciate it's a friendly. We're not going to go all guns blazing, talking through the game. It's a minute gone if you're interested. What we'll do is we'll put the score uh, across the bottom, but it's just a chance for us to have a beer, a chat, and just a casual catch-up with all the thing that's going on. So, yeah, this kit then. Early thoughts, now you've seen it in the flesh. I prefer white shorts. We've gone black shorts yeah. tonight. I always prefer it when they go like the white shorts. But I don't know, to be fair, you, you always know the home kit's always going to have that red and black theme, which has got yeah. to run it. But... On early thoughts, yeah, I'm not, sh- I'm not sure, but to be fair, I'd like to say because there's always just going to be, it's always going to be red and black. I always look out for the away ones, see if we can do anything different. But um, I quite like it. it's all right, isn't it? I think we're quite lucky. You look at some yeah, other yeah. clubs; we've always had decent kits. Yeah, I, I really like this one that I'm wearing now, mm. and I never got to wear, wear this one much, mm. so I really like this one. I think this is kind of middle of the pack for me. Yeah. Uh, if you really want to please me, FC Bournemouth, then bring out a green and black alternative to this to the third kit. Wasn't there a reason oh, why there was a reason why they couldn't do that? And I think that was addressed in the. The minutes of the oh, really? supporters experience group in terms of the fact that it's a very close variation in terms of having the strike or, or something like that okay. it's um it's you know green is like when you change the hue of something yeah. it's basically exactly you know that green yeah. that you're talking about yeah um it's not so different in terms of accessibility it's not too good but oh. yeah um it's it's one of those things that apparently they they aren't going to be exploring, but uh, I'm sure. Are you I'm thinking sure of a better not, answer? Will come like yeah, I love that kit. Yeah. I had uh, Willie Huck on the back. Yeah, wide stripes on that. Wide stripes. Yeah, wide they were stripes. wide. But they're them free kits that year. Seawood Rover MG. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. I think that was the year where the third kit was the blue and yellow yes. quartered, and I had Cox on the back of that. Um, and I yeah, I love them free kits that year, but um. Yeah, I'd like that as well, but okay. it sounds a bit complicated with all these colours and that sound. I didn't know it was this complicated. The Keefy T has just said, oh, bring, bring back the ki- the pizza kit. To the old pizza kit, Exchange oh, and yeah, Marge. Exchange Marge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, that's, to be fair, I, I do think if you looked at other clubs, we're pretty lucky. We, yeah. we rarely have a howler. Yeah. Mm. I think even if it's maybe not as good as the year before, we always have some good kits. Remember, was it promotion season or first championship season? The white with like, the gold. I've got that. Yes. I really like that. I think we do quite well, actually. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, yeah. I like that one. I mean, I love the. I know we're talking about the game here, and it's only really a friendly, but Zamora and Jaden and Anthony down the left, bringing it home. I feel as though they had they had a lot to prove last season and didn't get used enough. And I, uh, you know, I, when you're re- when you're really looking for for players who care, then I think those two players um like show it in abundance. But yeah, um, yeah, this was for me like surely players like Gavin Kilkenny are in that kind of time of their life where they're thinking it's got to be this season or it really, because yeah. he's got a lot of talent. He knows he could probably get regular football, uh, league one, even league two. Mm. Surely it's kind of this season or bust for him. Well, he's got to be looking at his mate as well. who has got the Rangers. I mean, the two of them came through at the same time, football. him and off the ball. And it looked like this time last year, they were being played in every friendly. Yeah. They were going to, they got to score a goal, I think, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Um, and it looked like they were going to play and they didn't. Mm. So um, it'd be interesting if Parker, he has spoke about wanting to bring through our own products, our own youth players mm. more. I think, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see it happen. Like you say, I think that's a really good point about Offerball as well. And and then you can look at like um, Jack Simpson, who, who was always on the periphery and now yeah. he's had to make his move. And I bet if Jack was honest, he'd say, I probably should have done it a bit earlier, actually. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was kind of hanging around and it, it brings you on to the Travers point as well. You know, with all this goalkeeper situation, when does he take a, take a risk and move on? But I think that... Um, what I like about some of the youngsters, that Samura and Anthony, they have so much. They've been playing down that left together for yeah. years in the academy. And I think that's something that you can use to your advantage as well. But it'll be interesting because every year you always feel like a few of these are going to come through and then they never quite happen. So yeah. it'll be interesting if Parker is more inclined to do so. I, I guess we could look at Surridge and say he is someone that has potentially had more of an opportunity, hasn't he? And I think he's, he's taken it okay. Mm. But I, I wonder if it's a season for at least one of them to really make a claim and I think we've always felt Kilkenny's going to be the one yeah so a bit I, I wonder if he's really picked up his role I can't work out if he's a wide midfielder defensive midfielder but I love it I love one of them to come through it always feels mm. better when one of the youngsters come through than it it's always nice but we're messing about at the back here too mm. much Tyndall ball going on there so 
in terms of the formation that we're playing today, oh. what we got then, Tom? It looks like a 4 2 3 1. Yeah. Um, the way I'm looking at it, I mean, the back four, as you predict, and then it to me, it looks like Kilkenny and Marcondes are then playing in the middle, and then Billin is playing a little bit more advanced mm. with Brooks and Anthony either side of Solanke. Um, but I suppose with that, Billin, Kilkenny, and Marcondes, they're all players that can kind of mix and match a little bit. But we talked about that before, weren't we? Apart from Anthony, obviously, we know what potentially is going to happen with Dan Juma. Stanislas not signed. We do lack width from wide areas, mm, don't yeah. we? And so I was kind of thinking, oh, I wonder if he'll go, me and Tiggs were talking about it earlier, I wonder if he'll go with a back three and wing backs because we haven't got a lot of wide options. But, you know, Brooks and Anthony probably are the only ones and they're the two playing there at the moment. But they've just got free kicks. So I'll just keep an eye on it. But um, no, fine. But yeah, so it's interesting. We'll, I'm sure we'll get onto it, but we link with a lot of players, but not many wingers. Mm. It feels like we always have wingers and the wingers go and we, don't, we end up with no wingers. Yeah. Um, and we know that one will go. I mean, I'll be shocked. Pro- if he yeah, I'll be absolutely shocked if he doesn't, because yes, you want to get the value, but we can't end up with another wee man Josh King kind of situation. We just can't. But we rejected how much for Josh King, and he ended up going. What? Peanuts, why so. do you think it is that players like Buendia went so quickly, and they seem to sort of cash in at the right time? You went for a big amount of money, and it almost feels like you know, like I said to Jeff the other day, the longer we hold on to him. The yeah. less we'll probably get for him. I agree. And I just wonder why this wasn't done straight away. So there perhaps there's an element of doubt here. I don't think it's doubt. No? I think it's stubbornness. I, 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 I do think that's a, a, a trait of our football club now. We, as a little club, sorry if anyone's offended by that, but it's true. A good know, position, um, a good position. Go on. Go on. It's a, strike it. It's a pen. Go on. Is that a ball? Is it a pen? No. No. You got a chance. On. As, oh, I think, sorry. I think, no, 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 it's fine. I think you're, um, I think we do, we, I think we're quite stubborn. I think we want to make sure that we, we can swing with the big boys and we're not just going to, our bellies get rubbed anytime someone comes with a bit of money. So I've heard around 20 million minimum, right? As the minimum. So if someone offers around that, then we start talking. But, um, I think that's, I think it's a point with, um, with Wendia because it's a good comparison because they were right. two, they were the two top two of the top players, weren't they, in similar positions, um, in the championship. But because they got promoted, I think from Villa's point of view, they thought we can't mess around because the, he can just stay at another premiership club if we yeah. don't get him. They went in with a big bid, didn't they? Mm. Whereas with us, teams can be a little bit like, we'll test them with 12 million yeah. because they think, well, Dan Juma is going to be knocking on Bournemouth's door going, oh, I want to play in Premier League. Yeah. Whereas maybe with Buendia, because Norwich got promoted, Villa thought we can't mess around here. We have to go quite high. How much did he go for in the end, Buendia? Yeah. No one's going to come in 38 for Dan Juma because no, they're going never. to think he's going really to be desperate to get a get a bigger yeah. move. Mm. That's So I don't think, whether you think he's as good as Buendia or not is irrelevant. I think we're never going to get as much as yeah. as, as they got from Buendia. Um, Buendia 20, a, 20 million minimum is fair, yeah. in my opinion. Oh, you're right. And, we, and Buendia had a good... <laughs> oh, God, <his> <laughs> How many of those have you had? Yeah. Uh, he, had a, he had quite a good Premier League season even when they got relegated. Yeah. Whereas Dan Juma didn't really play, did he? No. In that season. No, I bet. I bet. I wonder if Eddie looks at it now, because obviously Eddie bought Arnie in. Yeah. I wonder if he looks at it when he, he watched, I'm sure he would have watched a lot last season and thought, oh, imagine if I had Dan Juma firing like this when yeah. I needed him. You know what I mean? Behind closed doors when we just needed a few moments of magic. Because he just wasn't fit, was he, when we mm-hmm. first bought him in? He needed no. that season. And I thought, personally, he might end up being a kind of Mooset character. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? He's never really going to come through. And, Fair play to Dan Juma, because if we got promoted, it would have been massive thanks to him. So I don't begrudge him a move. And he's certainly a character that just thinks about himself, doesn't he? So he didn't want to move. But I think he's waiting to go more abroad. I think Mm. I could see him more La Liga, maybe France, but which I prefer, to be fair. Mm. Maybe maybe even better Holland. I I mean, Ajax, someone like that. Mm. Yeah. By the way, uh, Morgan put on chat that we just had on screen uh, a few minutes ago about the Chelsea friendly. He said he's really excited. Morgan, good to see you back on Back of the Net, mate. I haven't heard from you in a while. I hope all is good with you, buddy. And yeah, we're all going. Tom, what stand? North stand. Come on. I'm in the north. Tiggs. Tiggs I'm, in the... I'm south. I'm going in the south. See you there. <laughs> South stand. What's going on? Stand, That's yeah. fine. It's fine. You look more leg room. More leg room. More leg room. To be fair, I. I... As everyone knows, I was lucky enough to go to them ones that were not many fans there. Yeah. And I had to go in the Ted Max South. And, yeah. And I, that's the first time I've ever been in there because obviously to get out of the North. And I thought, oh, it's a bit of leg room, isn't there? It's a bit of leg room. I do like the leg room. Not, not as much of a fan as, what do you call it, concourse underneath. No. It's not, not as, you know, no. North North is good. And uh, yeah. But yeah, well, they've gone for a shot there from a weird forget. Yeah, but I just can't wait to have all the fans back in there, mate. 
It's going to be great. Oh uh, yeah, no, it's going to be really good. It's my uh, my first experience of a full game for a long time. Liverpool yeah. away was the last one, but obviously at home it was Chelsea. So it's a nice yeah. bit of symmetry to that, isn't it? And then now the European champions were they European champions at the time? No, they weren't, were they? When we played them a couple no. of seasons ago, I can't no. remember. Who we were, uh, no, Liverpool were that season. Oh, yeah. Right. But yeah, we're playing the European champions. Um, so yeah, absolutely crazy. We've got an unbelievable record against them as well. We have got a good mad. record. A lot of their fans on social media are shitting it. They're like, yeah. "Oh my god, we we got you That's again." Yeah, yeah. They, I, I remember seeing Chelsea fans, obviously tongue in cheek, but when we lost to Brentford, just being all relieved, like, "Oh, thank God for that," because we'd have lost it. I mean, I think our record in them five seasons in the Premier League in head to head was virtually nearly as good yeah. as theirs was against us. Unbelievable. Yeah, we were so good against them. Um, Oh, oh they got half a chance there. No, we're right, we're right. I think that's Ibsen Rossi there. What a player. By the way, by the way, not too sure how many likes this um this video is on at the moment, but look, behind us is a garden, right? <laughs> and there is a goal there somewhere. Um look, a certain amount of likes, and me and Tom do a, a penalty shootout at, like televised. I'll go next, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> televised oh, again or, or or some keepy uppies i mean we need some half-time entertainment right okay. we um like me and tom would love to do a crystal palace and have our pom-poms out and uh, do all that but probably won't go that route this time but if you fancy it smash the like button we would really help it uh appreciate it because it helps the channel grow thank you very much to everyone who is in chat if you are in chat let us know where in the world you're viewing from as well. Be really interested to hear where you're from. And also do subscribe to the channel for more AFCB content where we'll be focusing on, of course, the cherries, but also EFL in general. And uh, in there's a chance down the right flank from the moment. 12 minutes gone down the right hand side. There's always a few, but I always think that there's always a few players that kind of stand out in prison. Do you ever remember the... Um, that preseason with Real Madrid, Koulibaly. Yeah. Koulibaly. Mohamed Koulibaly. I was, I was watching the game and there was a, a Spanish uh, lad behind me and he was talking about, he obviously he was there for Real Madrid, he obviously lives in Bournemouth for that. And he said, who is that player? I was going, we don't even know him, he's new. And no. he, was, he was the best player on the pitch, he's better than Ronaldo. Yeah. And um, what happened to him? I don't know. Do you I know what I mean? So there's always know? players that kind of turn up in, in preseason. I'm always a little bit like, let's calm down. Yeah. People are too good in preseason. I mean, we said it then, didn't we? Off the ball was pretty good at preseason. Oh, oh, absolutely, we got a be here. What's... I nearly got stung by a wasp live on air. That would have been That's that would have been a first for us. Ben's watching. What He's in glamorous that? Derby. Whereabouts are you watching? Let us yeah. know. Sorry, uh, we'll pop it. We'll pop it on the screen. Um, so there are lots and lots of talking points, aren't there? One of which is the goalkeeper situation. Of course, Travers is in goal at the moment, but look, Begovic, Mark McAdam on Twitter earlier said. Mm -hmm. Looking likely that he's going to be going to Everton. Um, thoughts on that, Tom? I think it's a good move for Everton. And I think it's a move that has to happen for us. I think, what a sensational last season, by the way. He was mm. unbelievable, wasn't he? Yeah. But, you know, whether we know to, to the mark, we know he's on big wages, which I'd expect him to be. You know, we got him from Chelsea, mm. forget. And um, he's got, I think we just can't afford to have him in the championship. And I think it's a great move for Everton because I think he'll be a great backup goalkeeper that can push the number one more. Mm. He's got to go. It seems really weird with us with goalkeepers. I, I remember that Prem season, the last Prem season, where we didn't know going into the season if it was Ramsdale, Travers, Boric or Begovic mm. that was going to be number one. And again, we don't really know. And it's it's difficult because we all like Travers, don't we? And we all want him to push through. But then it's like, it's a risk, isn't it? Do, yeah. do we need that experienced goalkeeper? I, I remember last season, we obviously started with Travers in the first game. But we didn't realise till afterwards it was Begovic did actually have a knock, didn't yeah. he? And ended up being the number one. But... We were talking about this earlier, weren't we, Tiggs? I think you're. Uh, I think we're all similar on the fact that I would love to see Travis come through, but I I wouldn't want to go with Travis and Dennis, for example. No, I would like a bit of experience there as well. We talk about Woodman, at Sw who was on load at Swansea, but then there's a situation at Newcastle. Yeah. What would you like to see? Yeah, I mean, I feel for the guys because I, both of them, we, we've talked or other people have talked about how good they both are, mm. Travis and Dennis. But then I, every time I see every season that starts their their options get so limited their, their time their game time gets so limited I and mean, we sent Travis out on loan last season and he ended up coming back yeah. I just feel for the guy because what he's he's, he's pushing oh, Phil Bill's in so much space here oh, off the oh, post oh, off the post you. rebound oh rebound deflected he's, corner um, he's pushing to be Ireland's goalkeeper yeah and he yeah. can't get 
he can't get minutes for us at all. Mm. He's getting more minutes for Ireland, isn't he? I yeah, mean, I think he is. Yeah, regardless, you've got to be you've got to be a decent goalkeeper to get. I know Ireland ain't ain't brilliant at the moment. Yeah. Obviously, didn't make the Euros, but you know Ireland have got. A, I'm sure they've got a bit of a pull for goalkeepers. And mm. Travis is getting there without playing football. But I also appreciate why people would be a little bit on edge, and also a manager being on edge about just saying you're my number one. Yeah. I think ideally, I would like them to go, Travis, you're our number one. But on the bench, have like a Boric type of character. Yeah. An experienced goal, head. Got to be, got to be, got to be. Goal. What a Good goal. Team. Yes. Is that Jane Anthony? I think it is Jane Anthony. There we go. Oh, Great finish. That cut into his right foot from the left, if you're not watching that, and just bend into the corner. Dan Juma esque. Dan Juma esque. Who needs Arnie? Quick feet, really quick feet, and just shifted it onto his right. And then, yeah, I mean, the, like the defender thought he was going to hit it with his left, committed. Yes. And then he just freed up that space and just put it past the keeper. We need a Jane Anthony song at this point, don't we? Yeah. Well, well, we'll talk. We'll talk about players that haven't got a song. One of which would is criminal if he leaves, and we still haven't oh, sang a song know. for him. Uh God, let's not. Let's nice not. goal, that though. No, a really great goal. He's he's someone that you know. We're talking about it with Kilkenny, weren't we? He's another player that I, I know we've only seen flashes, but there's such there's a player there, definitely a player there. Yeah, and I also think there's a reason why he's never really gone out alone. Mm. Yeah. And Kilkenny's the same. And I be- yeah. I think it's because whatever manager's there thinks, if I get a few injuries, I can trust them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I quite like him. But oh, I can't remember what we're talking about now. Goalkeepers, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Goalkeepers. And, yeah, I'd, I would like Travis to get a chance, but then have kind of an experienced goalkeeper on the bench that if it doesn't work out, we can bring him in. I wouldn't like to go, let's go with Travis. He has a few bad games. Okay, we've got to go Dennis. Mm. I can understand why people think it's a risk. But... Eddie took the risk for Ramsdale and he was good. Yeah. He was good. And all he really done was went on loan away FC Wimbledon. Mm. So, but if I'm, if I had to predict it, I don't see Travis being the number one. I think yeah. we get a new goalkeeper. I think he obviously wants Woodman. I still think that'll happen. So I think we'll probably end up Woodman Travers. How, how do you think, like, how do you think that makes it? Because look, he played against Spurs, had the game of his life. Uh, I think he, they even had a closing montage on Match of the Day. He yep. was that good. He was unbelievable. He was like, you know, he was in every newspaper as the kind of number one goalkeeper in the team of the week or whatever. And then he's he has some sort of blinding moments, not least, you know, yes, albeit it was for the development side, but scoring um, that last minute goal, the headed goal, he's done well for Republic of Ireland whenever he's been needed. Uh, what's he thinking if we get someone else in? Because surely he's good enough. He's, you know, penalty exploits. I would, I would never feel more confident than when he's in goal. You know, Forest Green Rovers. They get, you know, he's like a brick wall. Mm. He's got um, a penalty record as well, hasn't he? Yeah. How do you reckon that makes him feel if we get in someone else and uh, you know and don't give him a, a chance? It's a difficult one, but I, I, I kind of think similarly to when we were talking about you know the likes of Kilkenny and stuff like that. If they're not getting the chance, and obviously off the balls ended up moving is. Win the championship, and really, these players that are on the periphery could 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 easily go and play week in week out in League mm, One, and that's yeah. only one step down. So yeah, I agree. If I was Travers, I'd kind of go, look, if you don't want me to be number one, that yeah, I accept that. I'm still in contract, but I want to go out alone to League One, League Two, and play every week. And I that that's what I would do if I was Travers. And then again, if I was an Anthony, if I was a Kilkenny, I'd be going. If if I'm not going to be in amongst it and competing for the team, I want to go out alone mm-hmm. because I could go and play in League One, League Two, week mm. in week out. It's a fine line, isn't it? But then do you you start talking about it and then you go, so then you're going to end up with a team. Would you want a team with Travis, Kilkenny, Anthony, Zimmer all starting every week mm. to try and get promotion? Probably not. It's a very fine line and that's what Parker's got to, got to realise. I think we had that, we are talking about this, weren't we? I think Woodgate, we can understand. He was there short term. He had to go with experience. Go on, Brooksy. Go on, go on, in you go. Hey, go oh, on. Oh, oh, bloody oh. hell. Brooksy then. Brooksy there, cut in from the right, and it looked as like he was going to take a shot with his left, but he didn't. He dinked it in towards Jay-Z. He, he looked like he was in, but the ball just didn't sit for him, and then in the end, the goalkeeper gathered. But this is tell you what. example of where we look better. Like, Brooksy is come inside that. Oh, hello. No. Uh, Brooks is come <laughs> inside. There. He's not wide. He's come inside. When he comes inside, he's so much better. Mm. Uh, ben is in Derby, in glamorous Derby. He says, looking forward to Hooters next month. Yeah, Ben, absolutely. Uh, Andrew Corbin's been to Dean Court today. Hello, Andrew. Hope you're well. Paul Spicer's here in sunny, sunny Salisbury. Sunny Milford, said Keith Thomas. Um, I think everyone is in sunny, sunny places today, including Joe, who is in Cambridge. Hello, mate. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're, like Everyone's in sunny places. Ellsbury, Paul there. Thank you. Hot Wellington. 
said Tony. That sounds like a dessert, doesn't it? Yeah. Hot Wellington. Mark's in uh, Camp Heath. We've got Chris Edwards in Harrisonburg in uh, Virginia in the States. Sunny Parkstone said Liam. Cheers, mate. Also, Daniel, we know where you are in Florida. And uh, let us know where else you are. We'll put it on chat. Lots of people celebrating the goal there. Daniel Chase is in Wimborne. And Garrett is from sunny Texas. Everywhere is sunny today. That's good. Like, oh, oh this is unbelievable. Sam Solanke. Lift it, lift it. Round the keeper. Oh, oh, Tom Solanke. He was in. You should listen to me, Dom. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's crap. I'll tell you what, this could be a rout. Good for me. I'll tell you what, it's that... Talking about the, we've spoke a lot about the youngsters that left hand side. I know uh, Brooksy come in and done some good stuff there as well. But that Anthony Zamora, they I, I like it. I do like. I look at Jay Z and I think he looks so. He doesn't. He looks like such a kid, doesn't he? I think yeah. he can't be ready. But he's another one on the subject. He's another one that's think we keep having problems at left back. You're gonna yeah. give me a chance? Do you know what I mean? And I think he's another one that there's got to be League One clubs that he walk into, in my opinion. There's got to be. Mm. And I, I look at. The youngsters, I think they could be a. They could probably a lot of our youngsters be a League Two side. So yeah, it goes back to your point, Sam. I think it's going to be up. This is where they've got to take their chance because Parker yeah. is coming with a fresh, a clean slate. Obviously, we know Tinder was already at the club, so he's got no preconceived ideas. He's going to go if you're good enough, you're good enough. So let's let's see. I think it's like a, a good fresh start for them. Let's see if they can make it. And I think a few of them can. You know, he's Just, taken a lot of them with him. You're saying yeah. a lot of these young. I mean, you know, you don't take them, do you? Unless no. you, unless you want to have a look at them. No. Unless you're True. thinking. Otherwise, you wouldn't bother. There's a lot more young players gone this yep. to this camp than any other. I'll tell you what. Another one was. I think he's on the bench tonight. Actually, um, Scrimshaw, Jake Scrimshaw. Yeah. yeah. He's he was on loan at was it Walsall first? Yes. Yeah. And he scored a few, and then he left Walsall to go to Newport on loan, mm. who were in the same league, but they were going for promotion because they saw him as a player. Do you know what I mean? So there's that isn't. I'm not being funny. We used to play. Warsaw, Warsaw, especially every week. Yeah. You know, I can remember. So these players are, are football league players, and we're only that one step up, slash two steps up. So I think a lot of them have got a really good opportunity in this preseason. And you know, we can't, I know it's I know it's more exciting to get loads of new signings, but yeah. I'd love it if a few of these could break through and feel like new signings. You know, I think we've given Brooks, ourselves yeah, a class skill. Years of, that's brilliant. Mm. We have given ourselves the best possible chance we've had in years, and I. I think a lot of that goes to the, having the idea of having a loan manager. I know it sounds silly, but mm. uh, that Carl Fletcher role. You know, our players used to play reserve football against like Hampton and Richmond and, mm. you know, whoever they could find in the lower leagues that would be able to, you know, play a game against. Mm. But these boys are going out and playing against proper first team football, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. That's what we need. It's, it's, what, down. it's what we need. So, it's look, feeling. Scott Parker then, what what can we really take, you know, a full time today? We're looking at this performance. Will be out will we be able to take much from it in terms of what Scott Parker's going to instill, or is it just way too early to I mean against the third tier Spanish side to really be able to get anything out of it in terms of knowing? Yeah, I, I always think that the first couple, because normally it is when you're on some sort of camp in it, like we're in Spain. I think we got another one Monday, haven't we? Yeah. They're too they're fitness. Only they're fitness, little patterns, see what you know, see what players um, how what system and then but it's more fitness levels and when you get the first couple out of the way then I think it starts happening you start seeing you know the way he wants them to play mm. what players he fancies and things like that but yeah it's difficult to read too much into it I think it will be weird as well we, we've got the the league cups first isn't it before the league this season so that'd be interesting how he does against the MK Dons kind of how we set up but it would just be interesting obviously we look like we're in some sort of 4-2-3-1 4-3-3 system today be interested to see if he plays about if we have a a game where he tries a free and and mm -hmm. things like that, but um, it's it's weird because it, I feel like it's a it's a real clean slate and it's f we've got someone outside of the club which we don't normally do, so it feels really new and fresh and I'm kind of in the middle of being excited and also oh I don't really like mm. change that you much could, you could go completely yeah wrong couldn't it but this one but everything at the moment is just kind of I think it's nice to just kind of go in with an open mind and let's see how we go on let's see how we get on mm. but um. It's, it's interesting to hear like the players we've been linked with in a transfer respect. Yeah, and Parker said that he likes a ball playing centre half. Tindall ball. Tindall ball. <laughs> so who is our ball playing centre half? So it's Mepham this. Yeah. Kelly could be if you didn't play him at left back. We're not playing him at left back today. No. But the one that we've been linked with is Dan. And Dan's not though, is he? Dan. Scott Dan's Dan, definitely not Dan. playing, is he? But I'll tell you what, Dan. how many goals he, he felt like he scored every time he played him. He was good in the air, yeah, wasn't he? Was. But Scott, we, we were talking about this, weren't we? Scott Dan would be someone that I would, if you're having a free, 
you'd have Meps and Kelly either side of the dam. Yeah. Dan Marshall and them two bring the ball out. But yeah, you, I mean, all I say has been links. Whether that's paper talk, just because I think he's he is a free agent, and he's yeah, he's a free agent. Apparently, Parker wanted him before at Fulham. Okay. Right. Don't get me wrong, I, I, I think he's a the top centre half. I think in the championship, if anyone else signed him, I think that's a good experience centre half. Mm. My main concern is probably a little bit more sentimentally, is that that could spell the end for Cookie. I mean, I know Meps has had his critics in that. I thought he was very good in the Euros personally, and I'm not being funny. He played in the Euros, they got out of the group. Meps a good centre half. Um, Lloyd Kelly, it looks like early signs are he wants to play him as a centre half. I know he played left back, but I think he long term is a centre half. Yeah. So when we link with centre halves, it worries me. When I see that Steve Cook hasn't travelled, it worries me. Um, I quite like. I've always liked Scott Dan as a player. It actually surprised me that Palace let him go. To be honest, I thought I look at some of their options. I think well, I think Scott Dan's always done a pretty decent job for them. But I don't know. I mean, I'd love Carter Vickers, but I saw this rumour of him being available for five million. Well, if you're a Prem club, you go and get him. Five yeah. million in this current market is outrageous for Carter Vickers. It's one of those players that you can buy and just you know know you'll make money on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you just know, you know, just by the fact you've bought him and you're a Premier League club, you know, combine that in a year, in a season's time, you'll sell him for 10. Uh, that, that's basically the rules. And that's probably what will happen. Um, you know, I would love him to be, you know, really wanting to sign for Bournemouth and being all kind of dewy eyed at the prospect of playing in front of fans at Dean Court again. But yeah, will it happen? I don't know. I don't know. And, you know, with people like Steve Cook not travelling and all those little signs that you see there's a there's probably not the best picture of him i don't know if he had a hair transplant or whatever but you know that was when he looked like he had a receding hairline all of a sudden he didn't have one again steve what the hell happened tell me what to do with that because yeah. uh, i need to be on and on. um but th- it doesn't look good does it takes it doesn't look good well he's our captain he's very social media uh savvy and he knows that this this is out there that this rumor is out there yeah, he's, and he's not commented. He took off. He took off defender AFC yeah. Bournemouth yeah. off his profile. I, I mean, I like. I even went to the extent of looking at web archive to see exactly what it said. Yeah. Some people thought it said captain AFC Bournemouth. It didn't. It said defender like, AFC Bournemouth. But why would you, like, unless you just, uh, you know, unless it's some kind of PR stunt, which I think I, I don't think that's very Steve Cook. No, it's it's like he's pissed off with something, and then yeah. when he said on that private message, someone left behind me or whatever, you know, just left behind. Yeah. Uh, you know that that does not seem very good, and I don't know. It's it's you don't say that unless there's something. I remember, I always remember the billing one with Tyndall. Yes, when he just said he said something along that similar lines when he was dropped. Yeah. Then Tyndall and he wasn't playing. Then Tyndall goes and he's playing everywhere. You think well, there was clearly a problem there with with Tyndall and and with billing, and he didn't fancy him. And don't get me wrong, I'm not going to c- come out and say that it's outrageous from Parker if he's if if he if Scott Parker's the manager if he if he doesn't want Steve Cook. If he thinks, no, he's not in my plans, he's got a year left, I want to get rid, I think I can get, get him out, um, I've got other ideas. That's up to him, whether I agree with it or not, that's up to him. Mm. But it, I'm just one of them people, as I'm sure everyone's aware, that it doesn't sit right with me when someone, I mean, he is, I'm talking about a legend mm. at the football club, unbelievable. I never like when that happens. I always think you've got to have a bit of respect for someone. Like and I wonder if, if Cookie has been told, you know, you're not in my plans, it wouldn't surprise me if he feels a little bit hurt by that and thinks, yeah. you know what, I should be, I don't like this. You've just walked in. I've been here for ages and you've just told me, you just pushed me to the side. And to be honest, from a footballing point of view, we're in the championship. Steve Cook is one of the best championships in the division without, yeah. that, mm. there's no doubt about that. Mm. You cannot, there's not that many centre-offs that are right. better than Steve Cook. No. So it's, it's weird to me if we were to let it, I, I find it a bit, we do have options. I think you could go into the season with Meth and McKelly and be all right, to be fair. But Steve Cook is, He's a top seller. If he were to leave, say Tiggs, yeah. right? If we were to say he's not in our plans, I think he could get a move in the Premier League. Oh, definitely, yeah. He'd be so mid, that's weird, mid, isn't it? Table Premier League, I think he could get to definitely. But could um could Junior Stanislas get in the Premier League? It's a weird one, that. I mean, technically he's good enough. Technically he's good I, enough. I, I, I mean, think technically he's good enough. As Ben Yusuf said, he stands holding out for a Premier League club same way that he's holding out for Drew Barrymore. And I've seen a lot of these Mila Kunis Drew being Barrymore. mentioned, and but and you said about being the next James Bond, but. You know, he's he hasn't got the the kind of glass le- uh, leg sort of Stannis glass. Stannis glass. You know, uh, we yeah. uh, the, like there are so many different um, you know jokes about one well, not jokes, but like he's just a player that's just like infamous 
for getting injured? Would, you know, would yeah. anyone risk it? But you know, would it be like a Watford that maybe did, bought him or something, or something like that? The thing that always gets me about him is he gets injured. He's out for six months. He comes back first game, he scores a goal. This is mm. that's typical Stanislas, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if anyone would. That's I, what... I think there are plenty of championship clubs that probably pay more money for him then than we do. Oh, interesting one, Morgan. Morgan always. A... I wonder who our penalty taker will be without Junior or King. Give it Dom. Getting them 20 goals, yeah. please. <laughs> yeah, it could be. To be fair, if, if you're Dom Solanke, you want it. To be fair, I think um, it might be that Forest Green game we alluded to earlier. I think mm. I think Dom did take a penalty in the shoe and was fine. It's probably, he did. I've always said he's probably, the only reason he's not on pens is because why would you ever take Junior off him? I think it would probably be Dom actually thinking about it. Is that a pen? That's not nah. a pen, is it? No. I, feel, I feel a little... Um... <sighs> Whenever he takes a penalty, won a penalty. <laughs> yeah. a penalty. Whenever Dom takes a penalty, though, he's done this. Uh, I've he's seen good. him take a penalty two or three times, but he sort of runs up to the ball, which is almost like yeah, secondary. Sure. It's almost like he's you the know the back. jog, and he looks at the keeper. He he doesn't even look at the ball whatsoever, yeah. and then he then sees which way he commits, and then side foots it. And to me. That's yeah, fine, but it's just a risk, bit of a risky one. I've always been a fan of the, more recently, I guess you'd say, the Troy Deeney penalty. Go just on. run up and hit the thing. Yeah. Just run up and hit the keeper. I've played in goal, obviously, like six a side or whatever. You have to move before mm. the ball's kicked. I've always yeah. got no chance. So just smash the thing down the middle. Mm. Because worst case scenario, the keeper's going to save it. It's going straight back to you and tap yeah. it in. I've always, I've always been like that. So I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure about them, them run-ups and stuff. But um, what were we talking about? Stanislas. Yeah. It's a... I feel for Stan if Stanislas, put it this way though, if Stanislas was always fit, then we wouldn't have it. We would have lost him no, a few years ago no, because right. people give him stick. But like you said, Tiggs, when, even last season, and actually it was one of his better seasons in terms of playing matches. His numbers are always there. Mm. He always gets no, he's better always gets assists, always gets goals. Better than Brooks always, mm. but it is them injury injury concerns. So it, he's one of them that I always oh, wanted to well, bring in. This is nice. Oh, oh. oh. but we. I always thought we would try and keep Smith, which obviously we've done. Stanislas, if we kept him, I'd go, you know what? He always backs up the numbers. I'll take it. If we don't, I'd go, to be fair with his injuries. Don't yeah. blame him. And I'd best. But where would he go? I wouldn't, like you said, I think if a Premier League club, it would be someone that had just got promoted that thinks it's worth a gamble yeah. for a few set pieces, a few, you know, um, extra depth to the squad. If not, uh, a bit like what happened with Harry Arter, a Forest, a team yeah. like that might take him. I don't think he drops to League One, League Two. No. He's too good. He's far too good. For it's that. just the fact that we just don't get the minutes out of him. Um, I, I really wouldn't be surprised if we end up back with him. Uh, and I'll be, I'll be fine with that. You know. I'll be fine. But I mean, like at this point in time, though, he is, he is, like, he isn't connected with the club. No. Like any way, shape, or form, no? No, I, I guess our. His representatives and our, you know, the people at the club are, are chatting to him. I thought Wasp was doing my head in. <laughs> we're aware. <laughs> we yeah. We're still in. We're still in it's always Horner, isn't it? Yeah. Wasp what, 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 is just yeah. coming to me. Um, Go and do one. We're still in. He's doing my head in. Tom, sort it out. To be fair, if Watford are around, I might dive in a minute just to piss him off. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we're still in negotiations. But like you say, it's. What I find a little bit weird, not weird, but oh, go away. Parker's clearly gone in and gone, Smithy. I want to keep you, and he signed. Yeah. That obviously hasn't happened with status or so something's not. Do you know what I mean? Um, if I'm a new manager, put it this way. If I'd got the job as Bournemouth manager, I didn't go for it, by the way. Mm. If I'd got the job as Bournemouth manager now, I'd have kept it because I'd have gone, you're experienced. Agreed. You've been in amongst the group for a while. I know you can give me goals from set pieces, assists, blah, blah, blah. I'm only going to give you, I reckon the Warriors, I wouldn't be surprised if Parker said that, that the club don't want to offer him more than a year because of his injuries. Yeah. And I wonder if him and his agent are saying, we want a couple of years. Uh, I wonder if a team like a Blackburn, a Forest, someone like that would offer him two, three years. I'm going to go a bit deeper than that, Tom. Go on, Tiggy. Go, go deep. deep. Go deep now. Go deep. Go on. Parker <laughs> actually played alongside. Stats, stats. Did he? West Ham? West Ham. Didn't, that's a great Didn't start he? there from Tiggy. That's, that's why he's here. That's why he gets paid the big bucks. They paid over <laughs> a thousand minutes together. Mm -hmm. So like they know each other very well. So maybe they just don't get along. Interesting. Yeah, that, that like I say, if he, we don't know if he wants to keep him or not. No. But I didn't, I didn't realize that that makes sense now. As soon as you said, that, I thought, of course they did. Yeah. yeah. But I remember speaking to, I've got a few friends that are West Ham fans, and I remember them saying they loved him, but he was just always injured. Mm -hmm. It's been, I really do feel for him. They're in here, by the way, and they've scored. Oh, Parker out. <laughs> Parker out. <laughs> oh no. Tom, talk us through the goal. That's actually quite well worked, wasn't it? It was quite well worked. It was them down the right-hand side, cut it across, and then someone from the left-hand side coming in and finishing. But it looked like Travers had made a good save, but he's mm. palmed it into the top corner. 
don't know if Travis could have done better there just because he got a really good hand on it and went in the top corner, but missing Steve Cook at the back, in my opinion. 115 of you watching. Thank you very much for joining us today. We Look, we appreciate it, given the fact that there is an AFC Bournemouth match going on at the same time that's free to view, yet you're watching us as well. So whether you're watching on a second screen or a new tab, whatever you're doing, thanks very much for your support and really appreciate it if you press the thumbs up as well on this video. And if you're not subscribed, then subscribe to see this beautiful man's face every so often. And also this and man. Also, that felt really like you were going for Tiggs and then just got better <laughs> mention him as well. But I do agree. Um, I, you know, look, look, I can't quite deal with the pink and yellow combo i thought yeah i mean it's very i was trying to say look they might be playing in marbella but it's basically marbella i'm going yeah. pink and yellow and you can deal with it yeah. has there been any i'm surprised there have been a lot of comments on it to be fair i thought the hat would have to come off but i think everyone uh, 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 on. i do have a shirt that would actually go very it's very cool. nicely with your cap mate oh <laughs> nice yeah i'm gonna I'll see what happens here. It might bring us luck as well. You do know if I put this on and we score instantly, I'm going to have to have <laughs> this, this. Oh, my God. No, 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 this is going to be amazing. <laughs> oh, right, oh my God, we're in. If, it, if this happens, I'll be loving it. Go on, Dom Solanke. Oh, oh cuts it back. From the corner. Corner. Here he goes. Here he goes. If this goes in from the corner, I'll be wearing this in North South. <laughs> <Chelsea. laughs> yes. You look a thing of beauty, mate. Look yeah, at that mate. bad boy. Tell you what, the back of the net calendar. <laughs> oh. What month would you be? As what well. month would you be? February, Valentine's Day, lovers in the air, or December, your you know, your people's present. It's true, actually. Yeah. I think we'd what do you reckon? I Tiggs has got what, what would Tiggs get? Uh, Tiggs, I'll tell you what, you've got to be Valentine's, haven't you? With Natasha, like, you've got to be Valentine's for me. You can imagine you like you've got to be Feb. Yeah. Oh well I, oh thank god. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying I, I would like it I'd like a December Christmas feel. I'd like a Christmas jumper, so I'd take that. But unfortunately I didn't go in, so I don't think the pink shirts. All right. I quite well, like it though, Sam, actually. That's all right. Well, you know. I don't, right. It smells great as well. Does it? Yeah. Oh, Tom does. Tom does. Does, yeah. yeah. I've Tom got some cologne. Awesome. I've got some cologne in my bag, actually. <laughs> New back of the neck giveaway. Back of the neck merch. <laughs> I'm like a hobo at the moment. Like, right, have a smell of it. This, right, this is one of these, like, like, have you heard of Aventus Creed? It's like a £300 fragrance, right? And I got, you know, when I was... A few years ago, I was in Dubai, and I'm not one of these, oh, Dubai, like Instagram, but I was there for Christmas, and uh, I came across this fragrance. It was so nice. It's 300, no, it's like cheap there, but over here, it's like oh, yeah. really expensive. I found this like place that does these these kind of variations of it. Oh. Have a, have a spray of that and see what you think. Go on, you know, that is actually it. really, really nice. Yeah, go on. Have, you can, have, but it's like a, huh? oh, we got, we got a, we're just talking to our rider, eh? we've, got a, we've got a runner. I'll have, a punk, I'll have a punk IPA, like you'll have a Guinness, but yeah, one each. Bud, yeah. Please, punk, thanks. yeah, cheers. Um, Ooh, I'll tell you what, that's nice, isn't it? I'm glad, I'm on. glad Jeff Hay would pay for that trip to Dubai because <laughs> just slap that on. Aventus Creed, but that's like a cheap, uh, you know, a cheap version of it. So can yeah, we get, can we get that branded? Can we get an Can we get a back of the net aftershave shave as well? Can we, um, I'll tell you what, I do like that actually. Going on the top of another one though. It's never, it's never yeah, that's fine, mate. Yeah. You smell, you smell divine. So it's one or it's thirty-eight minutes one gone. If you're looking for a time check, uh, second tier AFC Bournemouth are playing third tier in yeah. the Spanish league. Uh, Tom, you know how to pronounce it, don't you? I've completely forgot what it was. Bal ba yeah, Ballon Padica Linense. Yeah, that's right. Real. It's a Real it, Ballon Padica. Yeah, I call them Linense. Beautiful. Oh, Linense. Linense. Oh, we've got beers. Thank you for that. Steve. Steve. It's not quite it's empty. Not I've got a little bit in there. I've got a little bit All right. Thank you. All right, there you go. That's yours. Beautiful. Uh, you Look what. at that. I'll tell you what, we're, we're going up in the world and back in the net, I've got to say. Yeah. Um, cheers, Fletch. <laughs> yeah, cheers. <laughs> That's where Steve Cook is. Yeah. Oh, oh chance oh, on the edge. Get... Oh, oh, shot. Oh, oh just condos. wide from now. Just wide. Kilkenny or my condos? Kilkenny. No, Kilkenny. Gav. Gav, Gav I got him. forwards, isn't he? Good old Gav. I always thought he was left footed. He hit that with his right. Is he right footed? I thought he was left footed as well. Yeah, I don't know. So, so you're on the buds, Tom. Mm. Enjoying? Yeah, I like a bud. So, quite, um, so, my, my favourite lager has always been Star Parman. Mm. Never get it in like a nice little set of tinnies or whatever. You get like the big bottles. Yeah. And that's it. And I'll, occasional pubs, but. Like oh, that. hello. You know what I. You know what I. Oh, hello. hello. Left flank. Oh. Anti oh, he's, oh. oh we, need a, um, we need a song for Anthony. Star Parman is checking it. It's a Czech beer, yeah. And then I yeah, like, yeah. but I like Pilsner Urkel, which is like 
it's also from Prague, but you know, like a lot of the pubs have Pilsner as, as well. And I just love, I love that. And, but it's still not the same over here that it tastes over there. Cause it like, it tastes like a meal over there. It tastes really it's, hearty. Are you going to make it another holiday? Did you go to Prague, Sam? No, I have done. Yeah. Yeah. Look at him. He's getting all <laughs> three. Unbelievable. Beautiful. Once on a stag, once with a, with a, once with a girlfriend and then once uh, with the lads again. Yeah, I so. always thought when we had that little tiny little spell where we thought, could we get Europa League? Yeah. I literally, I couldn't, I couldn't nice, really care nice less. Finish. I just want to go to a few away games. Imagine yeah. that back then on tour. Yeah, to Baku oh. or somewhere. Oh, back of the net to Baku. Back of the net to Baku. I mean, yeah, I wasn't really thinking of Baku, but where would you? I always thought, imagine just, yeah, getting like Slavia Prague in a qualifying game. Yeah. I think it'd look brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Instead, but... we're going to go to an FA Cup tour. Of uh, <laughs> Robbie Sargent is not a big fan of Budweiser. Oh, he's just said, he said, don't do any beer pods, please, guys. Stick to the foot. He, he's not a Bud fan. We can say about that. I've got um, a punk. I've, I've got a punk. Does that help? Um, I've got some Camden Hells back there as well, and some uh, some Neck Oil Beaver Town, I think. Uh, but I mean, nice. you're on the Guinness, aren't you? I'm a stout drinker. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the one I do like Guinness. Shops, yeah. I could drink Guinness, but I think don't get me wrong, Bud's not my first choice. But it's over. I'm trying to think what I looked at earlier. You got just just for Robbie, yeah, just to just to appreciate what I mean. Bud, it has to be over Carlin, mm. Foster's. Yeah. And Heineken, they were the other three. Yeah. yeah, I think Bud beats them. That's the only reason. Amstel for me. Amstel, yeah. like I say, like Star Prime. I like an Australo. I like an Australo. It's not bad. Peroni now and again, but um, I love a Peroni. And I didn't nice want to go. Place. You know, we're we're live. I'm not getting on the Stellas. I'm not going. I'm just calming down with Bud. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm doing it for you guys. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Absolutely. Yeah, I I, I'm a stout. So uh, Ben in Derby, there, I found a lovely stout over in Derby. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Called Dark. Uh, what was it called? Dark Drake. Dark Drake. Dark By the way, Drake. what a pun. He said, Baku the net. Baku the oh, net. Baku the ba net. How do we not do that at the time? We should have done that at the time. Ben, are we going to come, when, when we play Derby away, are we going to come, you going to take us out of the beers? Come on, Ben. I went, now you said that, I went um, with my mate when we played Derby. It was a few years ago, it was a Tuesday night and we got there really early. It was the game where Jordan and I ripped us apart, actually. Yeah. Um, but we went to a pub and it was like one of them old school kind of brewery pubs. Yes. And they'd done like, so I wonder if it was. I went to one. I wonder for the same one, you know. Yeah, it really was. Yeah, because and it was it was really really nice, yeah. really good in there. But they had proper you know proper beers in there. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And um, yeah, I, mean, I always remember that for Derby because the game wasn't great. But yeah, I, that was Derby as well. So I wonder if it was the same one. Brooks is down in his armor. Ethan Burney says, "Tom, you look good in pink." If he, if Ethan says I look, I look good in pink, that's it. I'll Basically, be... whatever Ethan says goes. And that's that, it. You know, that, yeah. are those are the rules. That's it. I don't Those know who's are... in charge of kits, but I mean, I'm, I'm going to guess Rob Mitchell has some kind of say in it. Mm. So, Rob, if you're watching, pink maybe third kit. Mm. Well, we, I, had, we I did should have, have pink. wore the pink shirt. I, I, I nearly wore my pink shirt. That would have been full pink. Yeah. Um, did we have pink? Oh, yes. Because yes. we had the pink, didn't we? Yes, I remember. I've I got, got that, that one. Longer, was it? Yeah, and I think we didn't we do it for, didn't it go towards the research, Yeah, it did, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. That was Premier, one of the Premier League seasons. Yeah. But um, to be fair, I thought they made that, that shirt look quite nice. But um, I don't know what. If you had to like mix up, because we're always gonna have red and black, right? Yeah. Just talking about kits, because obviously it come out this morning. We're always gonna have red and black. We tend to go white, the occasional navy. If you had to, if you got the choice, if they said, "Look, oh, oh! He's offside, oh, he's offside." He's kind of a line, um, if you had to kind of like not not design as such, but have yeah. like a say in the colours for the second kit or even a third kit. Yeah, we spoke about the green. Would you green. go down a green route? I'd quite like us to go da back down like a yellowy route. Mm. Quite like a yellowy. I don't know. We always seem to go navy or white. I, yeah. I want to mix it up a bit. For the... I do like the blue, but that's, you know, that's for my Well, I mean, are there any colours we just haven't gone down? Like, you know, any... Sorry, I just spat on the mouse. <laughs> um, are there any colours we, ha we haven't really we still explored? The, the claret, don't we? And the, oh, yeah. And the, the mauve and the... Yeah. You know, those ones. Is that only mauve we've... We've ever had a gold kit. We've never had a gold no. kit. Let's have a gold kit. We could... Uh, what what kind like... of colours would go well together as well? Could you do like a... Let's try. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. Black and gold. Black and gold. Like, Light. Have we gone? Yeah, it was black and gold. I can't remember. Sam uh, Sparrow. Sam Sparrow. Sp black and gold. If we put it together. We, we can do it. <laughs> Sam Sparrow. Sounds like a good. I got to say. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen House of Games on Richard? Yeah. I love so it. I in like that round well. where you have to answer as pairs. Yes. So Sam and then Sparrow. there's a question and someone buzzes in. Your teammates as the first word. Yeah. And you okay. say the last time you it. just cracked it. There you go. But Unbelievable. Yeah, I can't think of any, like you say, apart from Clara, I mean, yeah, gold, but yeah. not everyone really goes gold. 
How could... The problem is, you, you think of the colour and then you go, oh, that's too much light touch and such. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, I think it's more about the design almost sometimes. Yeah. The but that, I mean, I don't, please don't hate me. That Watford kit from last season, I quite like their kit. Did. Disgusting, man. <laughs> I don't even know what kit you're on about. What kit was that? It was like black and it was black yeah, it and was... yellow, but it was like a like a sun thing oh, coming across the. Yeah, that was all right. right. It was different. I thought that because I, I I was talking to you before because yeah. I like I get loads of random shirts just if I like them, and I was thinking of getting the Dortmund kit. Well, like the Dortmund kit, and I was going to get, and I thought I like the Dortmund kit. It's so similar to the Watford kit, and I hate the Watford kit. That's just mm. so obvious, isn't it? But um, if you're a team that plays in stripes. Can you deviate away? Because I know that Bournemouth have gone full red before with that Seawood kit. Can yeah, you really yeah. deviate away? Because, like, yeah. you know, Half -time I mean, like, Watford don't usually paint stripes, but there was that striped yeah. kit they had, like, a couple of seasons ago. Would you feel like, we're, you know, how would you feel if we just had, like, an all red kit with, like, bits of black or whatever? Yeah, I think we could do that, couldn't we? As long as it, you could have, like, the red, like you saying, like, black down here yeah. or on the sleeves. I think you could we've do that. that. Yeah. Bounce. Yeah, we've done similar. Um, could we go, like, hoops or not? No. I don't know if you can get a hoops. Can you not? Is, is, there, that, is there a red and black team? I don't know the rules of this. I mean, are there rules? I, I don't doubt know. there's rules. Bohemians, maybe? Are they, are they in an island? That's oh, it. Yeah. I, think of. I think they are red and black, aren't they? Yeah. They, yeah, they might be hoops. But yeah, you can't really... Like, we we go red. We can't put too much white with it because it's Southampton. Like, it's, yeah. there's so many teams yeah. that... This, But we are we are red and black, aren't we? We always will be red and black. Mm. Norwich always be green and yellow. I just thought, how can we... Have we ever had... We've never had orange. We have an orange away kit. But I wonder if we've never had orange because you can't have the home kit being too close to the away True, kit. Does yeah. that make any sense? So I wonder if... Did we have a white away kit that had bits of kind of orangey on it before? Yes, we did. We did, not long ago. A tiny bit. Tiny bit. I can't yeah. remember that. But, yeah, no, but your don't. memory is unbelievable sometimes. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. Yours was I don't like. There was a period in the uh, early 2000s where some of our kits were a bit saintsy. They were a bit kind of like... Because we had the red, the black and the white. Yeah. I don't like it when we have all three. Yeah, it's not get the white involved. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I that. But, but I even our badge does have the white in it, doesn't it? Bits of yeah, white in it as well. So I mean, but even on the... You know, it's the kit that I always remember Steve Robinson playing in. That, that had white kind of, you know, edges to the red and black, didn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah. It, I mean, but it wasn't like you know, like it wasn't like our centenary kit. It was just like an outline, wasn't it? More yeah. like you say, yeah. I always think that you see it on uh, Twitter sometimes, like an old school kit, and you go, "What player does it remind you of?" You know, like yeah, national yeah. team kits, stuff like you were saying about Steve Robertson. There is so many kits that just you instantly think of a player yeah. straight away. There's a there's a few that I always it just makes me think of James Hater leaning the line and things yeah, like no. that. And uh, there's a few that Fletch because Fletch has rocked every kit, and he, but. Yeah, I just I'd like to go a bit different with it because it's just remind when we talk about that that green and black. Well, I know you're kind of wearing green and black, mm. but not the same, is it? Like it's not the same. Uh, stripes from McDougal stripes, maybe mm. as well. That was nice. Speaking of Fletch, if if you like, we might ask him this question over DM on Twitter, right? But like, if you think that he was posed the question, who is your best strike partner? Who would you because he's got like a hell of a lot to choose from, hasn't he? Like, he's played alongside Jermaine Defoe, he's yeah. played alongside uh James Hater. He's I think he, I know who'd say. Yeah. go on, I was gonna say, well, go on, you go first. I think you'll say Hates. I was gonna say that I reckon he would say Defoe's the best player, hmm. but partnership him and Hater because I think Hater would say the same, yeah, yeah, as in Fletch. Because a lot of players that he's played with, uh, you know, They're much better than Hater, yeah. But they were a partnership. Do you know mm. what I mean? You know, when you see... Like, Defoe would have done but, it with anyone. But do you think it's a bit weird that, you know, people will ask who's the best player that, you know, Fletcher's played aside, and he'll, you know, he'll say, like, James Hayter or whatever. But you can ask probably James Hayter. You can ask Mark Steve. You can probably ask a hell of a lot of players who's the best person you played with. And they'll all say Steve Fletcher. Because, because he created... Like, he, mm. he provided more than he scored himself. I always remember there was a season, I can't... I mean, it would have been early 2000s. It would have been um, with O'Driscoll. Because I remember him doing an interview and we had gone on a bad run and Fletch was injured. And I remember him saying that, you know, this is when you realise, because Fletch hadn't got the goals, the numbers, but they're going, this is when you realise, when when he's not there, you notice it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And Hater was one that was always better when Fletch was there. I, I never, don't get me wrong, I liked him. I never thought Hater was unbelievable. But with Fletch, they had this partnership, didn't they? Yeah. And I mean, the first partnership I remember, because obviously I'm a lot younger than the Perrier, was Fletch Steen. <laughs> Yeah. Fletch Steen, and that was a bit of a partnership as well. And Steen, I mean, he played for Chelsea, mm. but he's the type of striker. He, he was sacrificial, wasn't he? Mm. You like playing with him. I always, he's similar, obviously, a lot different standard, but a lot of English strikers you said about Heskey, didn't they? Yeah. Heskey used to get pelted, but they liked playing with him. Mm. Owen was better with Heskey. <laughs> yeah. Fletch was that type of striker. Um, 
I'll tell you what, if they were like the same age, I'd have loved to have seen a Fletch Callum Wilson. Oh they, my god, they, just be, imagine because of the pace of Callum, yeah. that would have been that would have been glorious to watch. Yeah, and he and he did play, you know, he made some plays look amazing. Warren Feeney. Mm. Oh, I about Warren Feeney. You know, he was they had a decent little yeah, yeah. And when you look at Fletcher and when he played like that, it, yeah, people think it was all about headers. It weren't. It was the way he trapped, the way he, he held players off with the ball. And he did have some nice little passes as well. Mm. Sometimes you don't even need to do anything. If, you, if you're that build, and like you say, he's good in the air, he's strong, yeah. automatically as a centre-half, you're worried. And that instantly means your partner is going to have more room. Instantly. Yes. And I think I think a lot of that happened with in, even in the Championship with, with Callum. Everyone knew Callum Wilson was the main man. So it meant Kermigan and Pittman could get in these little pockets. Yeah. And I think it was the reverse sometimes. Everyone was like, look at this big lump. You know, because we were in the lower leagues, so they're just worried about the big lump and Fletch. And it allowed people like Hater. Warren Feedy, just mentioned Warren Feedy. He was always someone that I felt should have gone higher. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I always, he had some pace. Mm. Never really happened for him, did it? But Two things. Uh, Nikki just said, loves a Guinness. Loves a Beamish Stout as well. Nice, yes. Yeah. Uh, also, Tom, just working it back. Were you wearing the pink shirt when they scored? I think, I, no, I think, you, no, uh, or did you? I don't know now. I think you might have been. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Was I? Yeah. I haven't seen what I look like in it. I'm going to have to have watch this back. <laughs> but no, You're going to have to watch yourself back, Tom. That's going to be a chore. But yeah, it is, it is one all at half time. And look, um, no different to many other it's friendlies, friendly, is it? I mean, we're not going to be reading into anything too much, are we? And it, 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 it's very difficult to. Yeah, this is a, as Tom said, this is a fitness exercise, really. The, the boys, it looks good though. The, the pictures from from training in the week, mm. everything that's come out of the camp, looks like they're having a great time. If this is all part of that, that's fantastic for me. I don't think we'll ever actually see anything real. Maybe something in the Chelsea game. Yeah. Really interesting. Tom mentioned earlier what we'll do for the the cup game against MK Dons mm. because will he pay his strongest eleven one week before the season starts? Mm. I would. I want to see my best eleven, but. We'll wait and see. I always think that. I always think if I was a manager like that, kind of obviously now it's the League Cup, but yeah. that last friendly before your first game, that's when you play your strongest team. Yeah. You want to get them ready for the first game. That's going to be you know, build them relationships and things like that. So I think that's what what's nice to see today. Like you say, it is just fitness and stuff. And you know, he's not going to care that much about the result because put it this way: if <clears throat> if Brooksy, for example, is is a bit tight half time, they'll take him off and bring on a youth player. It yeah. doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just. So I'm more looking at, like you say, fitness, but I'm looking at these youngsters and Jane Nantley's got a goal. Yeah. Mm. I think him and Zamora have probably been the ones that I've looked up when things are happening. They seem to be involved, which is nice. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think these couple of games in Spain is going to be, be fitness related and we'll see more as we go on. And I think it's nice that we got that game at home because I think the Chelsea games when we're going to start seeing yeah. things that we'll potentially see into the new season. And I just can't wait to get in there with a crowd, mate. Oh, mate, oh. it's going to be amazing. I mean, we'd have loved to have been... Premier League, alas, we're not. We're going to be Championship Brentford of Premier League. Jamie just came on to chat saying, hey, hi, everyone. Good luck for next season. I'm a Brentford fan, by the way. And look, it's back of the net. We seem to have a number of Brentford fans that have subscribed to us. I think I think we were very complimentary to them. I think, you know, we could have we could have been like knee-jerk reaction uh, and been what we usually are after a Cherry's loss. But, uh, you know, they completely deserved it. And, th and there's another Brentford fan, Simon Hoyle, that always comes on as well. If you're watching, Simon, hi, mate. Um, and it's going to be really interesting to see how they do in the Premier League because I've always thought, I don't know about you, Tix, Brentford are a club that's fairly similar size to yeah. us yeah definitely and i think uh teams were surprised by us when we came up and teams didn't give us the respect probably that we that we had earned through that championship season and so we got some nice results i mean it didn't start perfectly but mm. we got some really good results where teams didn't expect us to come and attack and i think mm. as long as brentford do that i think they'll do all right it could be similar yeah yeah i think they could be similar to us Definitely. I think that's it's, it was difficult that we I found it quite tough that we had to play them because mm. they've always kind of been my in the championship. Obviously, when we had the five seasons in the Premier League, they were always like a championship team. So I thought, like you said, they're similar to us. And I always think they've always played nice football. They seem to run things well. We've all gone over the fact that when they lose their best striker, they get another one in. Unbelievable. They seem like a really well run club. I always like going to the ground and I am pleased for them. It was difficult because we were the ones that lost out. But mm. they're one of them. They could be. I think they're going to be similar in terms of that I can't see them going there and being a no disrespect like a Burnley that sit back. They will try and play football. They'll either go the Bournemouth route or and the Swansea route, try not to make it too like us, that play good football and end up having a few seasons off the back of it, or a Blackpool that went there and played really good football but didn't quite have enough. Yeah. There's a few teams like I like to think they there's a it 
I think it depends on other teams. You know, you look at Palace, Vieira, how are they going to get on? Are Burnley finally going to drop? Everyone keeps predicting they will, and they always do enough. Newcastle, the other two teams that have come up. So it would depend on all of that, but they'll be competitive, definitely. Um, what will be interesting is, is Ivan Tony going to get in the goals? Because if you're going to stay up, you need someone that's going to get your goals in that Premier League. Mm. Um, Norwich will be thinking the same with like your Pookies. He's getting yeah. a bit older. You've got to have someone that can get your goals. I always think Sunderland used to stay up because Defoe was there. You know, you've got to have a goal scorer. We've done it with, we always seem to have a goal scorer and uh, they're going to rely on Ivan Tony. Mm. Can he make that step up? And I think we got a little bit, it doesn't sound right this, but we got a little bit lucky with Callum Wilson because uh, he did well, but then he got injured. And so nobody came in with him for him. And then he did well again. You know, holding on to Ivan Tony, I think it's going to be really hard for them if he does well come Christmas. You know, he's going to be relatively cheap, isn't he, in terms yeah. of other players out there that can score goals. And that's the thing, I don't see, I, I don't know the ins and outs of Brentford and there's still a lot of transfer business, I'm sure, to be done. But at the moment, I look at them and go, Ivan Tony, next goal. And then I look at them and go, is there many goals? Is there enough yeah. goals? You don't want to be too reliant. I think we were fortunate, like I say, um, Callum done really well. But when he got injured, we had Josh King started coming through yeah. just at the right time. That's Stanislas, season. who we spoke to before, always pitched him with goals. Matt Ritchie in that first season. You've got to have a few that pitch in. And that's why I'm concerned for Brentford. But, you know, Tony might, might hit the ground running. We've seen a few players do it. Pookie done pretty well in Norwich and they mm. still went down. Yeah. So, but I think Brentford might, I'm trying to think, if I had to predict it now. What, bottom three? Bottom three. Would I put Brentford in there? Annoyingly, I don't think I'd put Watford in there. What about Norwich? I think Norwich will go. Well, losing Buendia is massive. Buendia is massive. Um, I think Billy Gilmore is a shrewd signer. Yeah. Though. But, I mean, that's what they are. They don't care. They're, that's, they're, you know, that's West Brom type of club. Yeah. Just, yeah. They're, they're going to survive. Yeah. They're still bigger than most clubs, aren't they? Yeah, they're bigger than us. Up mm. and down, up and down, but mm. still bigger. Mm. Yeah. They don't need Premier League football. We do. Yeah. Just we do to... to grow. They don't. Norwich. Norwich, Palace, Brentford would be my, just off the top of my head. Thinking. Palace. Will it work with Vieira? I think that's a risk, you know. Pat well, I mean, they've let Scott Dan go. Scott Dan, what a player. <laughs> <laughs> I always look at Palace. I think apart from Zaha, have they really got much? And why is he still there? Um, if there's any Palace fans weird, out there, I don't know if, he, if, you're, if you're watching, but why is Zaha still there? I mean, I don't understand how he's been able to hold on to him season after season. He's their best player. Um, they uh, haven't got a lot of transfer market muscle. Mm. How they held on to him? Mm. It's weird, isn't it? The players are back out onto the pitch. Now, if you're new to the channel, good evening. This is Back of the Net and AFC Bournemouth channel, but we cover a lot of the EFL stuff too. So feel free to subscribe. We would truly appreciate it. And once you do subscribe, there's a bell button, which will alert you every time we upload a new video. Tonight, AFC Bournemouth are playing a pre-season friendly in Marbella. The teams are just coming back out onto the pitch. Now, in the second half of the show... Obviously, there's the second half, but we need to talk about these transfer rumours as well, because there's a lot of players that we've been linked with and we need to go through them and whether they'll be any good for us, whether they'll be good fits. It seems that the loan market is where we're looking at. And we've said before that that's where Scott, Scott Park is very adept and that's probably what we'll be doing this season. So, yeah, it'll be really interesting to see what happens. Um, this is what a few people have been saying on Twitter with regards to how the game has been going. Um, Jamie Williams has says, Billing has been linking all the play between uh, the front players. Very impressed with the three of them. The right side uh, can't be said for that triangle there. It isn't, it isn't quite happening. Um, Liam, uh, sorry, Jacob Tanswell saying, given it's the first game of preseason, the tempo is pretty good. Parker already he seems to be stamping his mark on the team, playing 4-3-3 and using similar patterns on both flanks. And he, he's mentioned two standout players on his tweet. That's a, This is Jacob Townswell from Cherries Live, Dorset Live. Jacob Antley. Yeah. Jaden Antley, sorry. And it could be Billing, actually. I'm going to go Jaden Antley and Jordan Zamora. Correct. Yeah, same, yeah. Correct. Jordan Zamora. Yeah. And, you know, players that are... Players that are standing out. Um, Ken Davies says, Solanke, one-on-one -on -one with keeper, misses again. That's why we need a striker. Oh, it's, it's difficult. Mike Brannan saying, Dom Solanke, still not at it. I won't say exactly what he said. Um, he won't get a simpler chance than that all season. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of people are talking about the one-on-one. -on -one. Jamie Williams, again, you're talking about this kind of one-on-one. -on -one. He sort of... Um, he, 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 you know, sometimes he has too much time to think about it. 
Yeah, he's better when he doesn't, doesn't he? I mean, we've seen Instinctive, that. yeah. Yeah, when he tries to be, when he tries to think about it, he tries to be clever. You know, he thought I'll go around the keeper. If he just whack, if he just hit that, mm. chance are it would have hit the keeper and gone in. He yeah. had too much time, so yeah. he thought, oh, maybe I can do this. Yeah, no, I agree. But I think that's a that's definitely not Brooks, is it? Who's that? Maybe made some changes. I have to keep an eye on that. That's not yeah. Brooks. Um, I think that's interesting. I forgot about that because I, I was saying then. Obviously, you said um, James said that half time that I felt that that left hand side looked quite exciting with Anthony and Zamora. The right hand side was Stacey and Brooks. Yeah. The left hand side shouldn't be more excited, should it? Do you know mm. what I mean? It, it should, but that's a, I think let's look at that positively and go, yeah, maybe the right side was was not quite on it, but we know they can be. Stop, we don't stop being positive, Tom. I'm You've sick. I'm sick of your positive. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, what was really interesting is the way that Jane Nanton cut in. And then some more did the overlap. Yeah. yeah. Whereas when Brooks cut in, we didn't see Stacey won't pull him down, was no. it? No. Different, different sort of way of playing. Just trying to keep an eye to see what. And that's and that's um, uh, you know, I'm not seeing much of Jack Stacey on that right flank, but that's you know, that's one of his traits. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, normally he's getting down the wing, and I don't know whether this formation stunts that or not. I mean, look, these are early days, very early days. Two subs apparently. Sam, by the way, uh, Sam Surridge and Kyle Taylor are on for Emiliano Marcondes and David Brooks. So I think that was Kyle Taylor I saw down that right hand side just there. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, then Surridge is on for Marcondes, so I'm guessing that's gone to a four four two now. I would mm. assume. I, I like the look of Rossi, by the way. Well, center off. Rossi. Yeah. Ball play. Who needs mm. cookie, eh? You know, he's. he's... Nathan Akeesk, you said. <laughs> <didn't> <laughs> Nathan <laughs> Akeesk. Yeah, I don't really know because because it was because it was Scotland and I can give a monkeys. Don't it was like... I don't know how he did <clears> to be honest. I know he's obviously go out. I know it's a, a useless league, but he's gone out there and played football, which is a good thing. Um, he looks like a a big big lad, doesn't he? Yeah. You don't, I mean, I know it's a friendly, but you don't just chuck him in if you don't think I want to have a look at him. No, I you don't, do you? If you're not interested in having a look at him, you wouldn't. So, yeah. I mean, that's nice. the one interesting thing about this. Like, you look at the shirts numbers that's on the back there. Yeah. You know? And you look at their shirt numbers who we're playing against. They've got they've got 1 to 11. And we've got, what, 33, yeah, 44, 27. You know, it's... Ooh, ooh, uh, I wonder how many of these players that we're watching now are going to have a first 11 number on their back. Well, what... What number did Travers change to? Because I thought he got like a like a thirteen or so, a twelve yeah. or something. He's gone back to forty two. Yeah, it's a bit, bit odd. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much to read into it, but yeah, I always think that a little bit. Um, wrong... That right hand side, I've seen him centrally, but um, he was at South End, was it on loan? Yes. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but I remember he started. I think it was under Eddie. Yeah, it was under Eddie. Um, in a, in a few cup games when we were Premier League, right. like they. He was looked at as to be that next one, if you know what I mean. So, nice to see, see how he gets on. Because I think he's one, because he's gone out on loan so much, we don't talk about him like we talk about Kilkenny and stuff. Yeah. We forget that he's still a player. Um, see, if he, he must be another one that's thinking, if I don't, I might as well go. But he looks like he's playing. It almost looks like him and Billing are virtually just off mm. Slanky yes. at the moment. But... Yeah. Cryptic tweet oh, from Steve Cook coming oh, in no. four four minutes ago. Um, he he puts a tweet out, and I, I I don't really understand this, but he says pre season number fifteen, and it's a kind of laughing crying emoji, and you can just see him kind of running up and down on the training pitches at AFC Bournemouth. Pre season number fifteen, laughing crying emoji. What, what does that even mean? And you can see him sort of. Is he sweating? Is it a sweaty emoji, Sam? Uh, Check your emoji. It's. I think that's a sweaty emoji, mate, not a crying one. Is that, yeah, sweaty in the sun? That's a sweaty in the sun. I think, how many, how old's Cookie now? Pre-season number 50. What is my, he's, he's 29, 30 in these. Yeah, well, I mean, what does that even mean? Does I'm it mean hoping it? that just means it's hot and I'm in training. Yeah. We're going to read everything into it though, aren't we? I got, no. Losing. I just brought it up on screen. I we are. we going. Yeah. I think he's going. He's going, isn't I it? think all three that didn't travel are going. Yeah, shout. Um, like uh, we spoke about earlier, Tiggs. Lewis Cook's clearly not fit enough to play in no, this game. No but way. He's, he's not fit enough. We know he wouldn't be. He had a bad injury. Um, if we're getting ready for the start of the season. Yeah, so he was never going to play today. And he isn't playing. But he's still taking him. Mm. But his captain, who there's no way he's had as bad an injury as Lewis Cook, has been left behind. Yeah. It's a weird one. I don't, it's up to Scott Parker. Do you know what I mean? If he, if he, if he wants to go somewhere else, fair enough. He's the, he's the gaffer. But to me, there's not many better centre-offs in the championship. Okay, so why... why... So you let Beggs go because of wages. You let Cookie go because of wages. Is that is that the issue? I wonder what his wages are. Too much? Yeah. I bet we're paying. I bet he's the, the highest, one of the highest earners. But then Steve Cooks must be up there. That's what I mean. So oh, sorry. Is that true? I sorry. I thought you were about. Yeah. That's why we're letting Cookie. But Lord mm. Kelly must be on par with Cook. There must be a second. 
Well, just because he was bought in off, it's so much later. We were yeah. Premier League then, we could afford but to. I bet that when yeah. we signed those contracts, we had probably a better yeah. relegation. Oh, I don't know. But I would have thought Cookie and Adam Smith, for example, were on similar wages. Yes, true. Smith has been signed. New contract, New though. What, contract. Are, what is it? There's no way he's had a deduction. Sure, oh, not know. massive, because he'd go, well, I'll go and get that somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know. Do you want me to try to get the glare off this screen, yeah. by the way? We need to just tip oh, it, I think. Oh, I'll, see it. I'll see if I can do something well, about I can that. handle it, but if you two... Uh, uh, I can about handle it. it as well, but... Tiggs has been a diva uh, about it. I mean, look, that handle, oh, what sorry, does that sorry, do? Sorry, sorry. Oh, that's good, actually. Yeah, little... What does that handle do? What does this handle do? <laughs> Let's see what the handle is. <laughs> this could be a risk. We're live, Tiggs. We're live. Oh, oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, now perfect. I don't know what you're doing, but it's yeah. going well. Oh, yeah. look at that, Tix. Yeah. You've done it. That's not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know I don't know what you're doing, but I like that. Yeah. Keep doing it. Well done, mate. There we go. Well done. <laughs> well done. All right. King of, King of the uh, carousels. Well done. Right. I'm going to do a beer run. I think when I get back, I think we need to talk about these rumours that are flying about. Leaf Good. Davies or Davis? Is he linked Sam Davis. Is it, I just tell you what, it's I'm Keith sure he'll be about. doing step overs and drag backs if he does. Yeah. It's Keith said about there might be some uh, some Dutch players out there that might be. Yeah. Said about Keith. Yeah, well. uh, Keith about uh, Keith is about. Um, I think the rumours start heating up now as well. The Euros are over. Yeah. They always do, don't they? I'd like to know from Keith whether he thinks Dan Juma might go back to Holland. Keith, Keith Thomas, will Dan Juma go back to Holland? Let us know. Right. Who wants a beverage? Ooh. Yeah. Why not? Right. All right, mate. Thanks, Sam. I'm off ski. I'll let these two chat yeah, through events. On, yeah. Come on, on come on, lads. Have the cherries. We score now. You're gone. You're off the <laughs> channel. I'm gone. I don't know though about Arley because I think I looked at it and the, the Dutch, the, the, their league, even though they've got two big clubs that were yeah. massive in Ajax and then PSV I know, they don't pay big. I reckon we pay just as much, you know. Oh. I saw it. It was only, I saw a thing the other day that was, um, you know, when it was all coming out about, what was it called, Kenny? Go on, boy. Sorry, we're in here. Stacey, I love a score when he's not there. Oh, yes! <laughs> Get in. Is that Dom? Oh, goal machine. There we go. Goal machine. Sam Davis right. leaves the room. Dom Slanky, goal Dom's machine. Still, yeah. That's to be fair, that was a really good move. That was Stacey and... Was that Sam. What? Yeah, yeah score show, eh, mate? You're joking. Dom no. Slanky. Are you having a lot? They don't want you back on. Are you having a lot? <laughs> <laughs> you oh, big God, God, mate. I can't believe this. This is not good. Yeah. Good move, actually. Well, it's good that we... Uh... There you go, mate. Yeah, it's a good move. I tell you what, I need to do that more often. We had a lot of ball in the final third there, didn't we? We had lots of time and <laughs> <around>. <laughs> lots of players got involved in that. Ben said, stay in the bar, lad. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Uh I was gonna move. But yeah, no, we we're talking briefly, weren't we, about Dan Juma? Replay? No no replay. Uh, I'm never gonna be able to see that goal ever again. <laughs> You're not allowed. I'm not even talking You're you through joking. It. I'm not even talking you through it either. Oh um, man, that's not that's not fair. I took a net off of that. <laughs> what was it? Okay, <laughs> talk me through it. Probably the best guy I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, totally yeah, it was, really um, cool. The backflip did it. Was it a one? <laughs> <laughs> was it a one on one? Was uh, it a one on one? Kind of. I think it was. Was it Taylor or Kilkenny down the right to play Stacey in? Uh, one of them. Yeah, one of them. Good bit of movement. Stacey yeah, done that was... overlap we're talking about. Yeah. Cut it back, and Solanke just with a. Clinical twenty goal a season strikers finish. Yeah. How really? far? Oh, 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 look at that back heel. It was like this. That's nice. It was like that, and then it cut in, and he yeah. smashed it in. And uh, I mean, really, he shouldn't have got the ball across. To be honest, I thought he was going to go out of play. Yeah, yeah, and we cut it back. But um, yeah, it was a goal that you had to be there, really, Sam. You know, it was I mean, just yeah, well, we'll never forget it. In my <laughs> head, live, it was incredible. <laughs> right. So it's on the screen. If oh, you're watching, oh, hello, right flank. Oh, go on. Ah, oh, across. We don't do those. What's I don't, I don't want to get a oh hello Anthony. Oh, try to. I don't want to get a name for being like a someone that doesn't like David Brooks. But we look better down the right since Kyle Taylor's come on. Yeah. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? It, it doesn't make sense to me. Like Stacey's first time he's got in. No, and, I, and I've been making the excuse that maybe when we play Championship football, they double up on him sometimes. It's a that, fair shout. They do. But to be fair, they haven't doubled up on him today. Go oh! Oh! on the right hand side. Three one. On the right. Well, that's Kyle how Taylor. Kyle Taylor. Oh. You're a soothsayer. Like oh my god. Bun. But yeah, no, like you say, you can't say that today. Oh, man and I kind of thought that. that. I could do that. Yeah. But yeah, I just I look at it and just think again, like we literally second half. The only real change has been David Brooks off and we bought on Kyle Taylor and we scored yeah. two goals from the right hand side. Kyle Taylor getting one of them. Yeah. And there's a reason why Wales in the Euros chose Harry Wilson to come on over David Brooks most of the time. I just don't I don't get the hype, mate. I don't get no. the hype. And I he don't get the like four yeah. million for yeah. him. And we didn't really, I mean, Wilson, his movement wasn't incredible for us, was he? When we had him. You look at players that you 
you know, that you could have cashed in on mm -hmm. at any given point. I mean, Josh King, rumours that West Ham came in for like 20 mil, or eight, sorry, 18 mil or something. And you just think, why? Because he did nothing for us. No, but we never had a bid for him, did we? I don't think it's actually. And there was a valuation, but I yeah. don't think we ever had someone say, "Yes, mm. I want mm. David Brooks to play for me." Mm. But first half was all we were talking about, weren't we? Um, Zamora and Anthony. The second half, everything. It's, it's again Stacey and Carl Taylor. They're so just absolutely better. destroying them. I think Carl Taylor is my new favourite player. I think Carl Taylor is the best right winger I've ever seen. He's incredible. He's up there with Andrew. Why is he I was, for England, you know what? Um, I was watching like. His br like his brother, right, is a bilingual comedian, Paul Taylor. He's got like three hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube, and he's like, uh, he's you know, he's a stand up, but his like YouTube sketches are watched by millions. Oh, his what, brother, what half brother, uh, French. Oh, right, okay. So he does his gigs half French, half English. Uh, franglais, he calls it. You know, one of his gigs, and it's like you know, very like if you actually search like what the f France on uh, YouTube. But not, not now. now, not now, because you're watching us. If you uh, if you Google what the fuck France uh, on YouTube, you'll see Kyle Taylor's half brother doing these unbelievably edited like sketches, like about four or five minutes. Honestly, like your talent just runs in that family. I know. Took your funny bone that one, Sam. You know, honestly, it really did. He's in a very, in a very very subscribers. Yeah, and if you wow. subscribe now, we could be there too. <laughs> 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 They're in down that side. Oh no! Oh god, they are point. Lloyd. Oh, that's, oh, that's a penalty. Oh, that's a penalty. Oh my Kelly. goodness! What was he doing that's there? That's horrendous tackle. That's what did horrendous. they tackle him with? Was I'll tell elbows? you what. We, we could do with a left centre back. Steve <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd, 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 Lloyd Kelly's holding his leg. That was an awful tackle. That was really do you know what my favourite thing about this is? Is like well, we, the whole way we play in this game. There's a little group of players always warming up on the outside. Yeah, yeah. It's like being a little down. It's like being a little down. Yeah. They've got a pen now. We made. We were all talking earlier about the goalkeepers, and we said about Travers from penalties. Mm. He's got his chance now to prove us right, hasn't he? Yeah. Well, if, Let's if say, Travers how... saves this, he needs to be our number one. Is that what we're going to say? That's all right, that's say. the call. Yeah, if he doesn't say, remember that out. he did start the season last season, and then and then he had that blooper, and there's like Begovic game. straight in. Oh, but 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 in between, Begovic had that amazing game. Bottom in the right. Cup. Bottom right. Bottom left. Bottom right. Bottom right. Bottom right. Oh, oh my God. Callum Wilson versus West Ham penalty hat trick. That was. Yeah, exactly the same. He, the right, he always goes to right way, Travers. He telegraphed that though. The, the player who scored it telegraphed it. It was like it was quite obvious. That's where we it was just going, conceded but... it. That's oh. yeah. But well, that, like we we care. Yeah. Tell you what, 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 what a game, what a cracker. <laughs> he didn't say the magic words. No problem beforehand, did he? No. For you to do. <laughs> no problem. Oh, still, I can't, what time is it? Still hot, isn't it? Oh, it's still yeah. Warm, yeah. We're 57. If you're watching and you're wondering where the timestamps are, there's look, we're not going to put a timestamp up for a friendly where we're just bantering through, but 58 minutes gone now. 3 2 to AFC Bournemouth. And, uh, it's quite a game. It, uh, you know what? It's a it, it's a very watchable game. And that's I mean, it's not know. Hamworthy Wreck, but I mean, it's. No. Oh, I used to love Hamworthy Wreck. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I used to love that. But then it got like the better we got, you start. It used to be like two nil. Yes. And then by the end, it was like eleven, oh, we're eleven nil up yeah. half time. Um, I used to feel like I could come on Bramworthy at some point. So <laughs> yeah. you probably could have, Tom. You're very good. Well, thank you, Tiggs. Um, Paul Town was the one that we got. We had to stop playing Paul Town because they just kept like. Oh, what? Seven bells Sorry. out of us. Sorry. Yeah, started getting like two into. It was like yeah. that cup final, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. But I remember we lost to them a few times actually back in the day. But yeah. I mean. Bournemouth and Paul Town, that's not the same as like Saints and Bournemouth, is it? No, sure. No. Because, like, it, I mean, it can't be. No, so it's like Curse Island, yeah. so, I, I don't think there'd be. Is there anyone out there? I mean, Watford, but that's an break. internet internet, uh, internet feud, isn't it? Really? Yeah. I feel. Is there anyone that doesn't like us? Like, really doesn't like us? No, I don't think so. I don't think there is, is there? That's the problem. We're too, we're too lovable. Right. So, Tiggs. But yeah, between me and you, this is where the views now start to tank. Oh, because we've lost And time. we have to do loads to, to you know, try up. to get up. Have you got any jokes in the... Uh, any jokes? <laughs> ah! In the locker. Put you under pressure. As I say, okay, oh it's okay. I'll tell you what, this isn't a joke, though. We're down the right-hand flank again. Kyle Taylor, he's looking He's, he's looking him. really good on the ball. I love him. And he won't play all season now because I no, like him won't. that much. I'll tell you what, though. He, he doesn't seem as ooh, how do I say this? He doesn't seem as slight as I've seen him previously. He looks like he's got a he's little up a bit, isn't he? yeah, which is you know, which can be a good thing, gotta say. Um, you know, how do you want your uh, how do you want your wingers to look, Sam? Do you like them light or do you like them beefy? Well, 
Do you, you think, remember? Do you think David Brooks? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I was about to say when is a bit like when we David. signed him, like A4 paper seemed wider than David Brooks. Yeah. Um, but then over time, he seemed to just get a bit bigger. Yeah. And then you know, obviously, he did his talking on the pitch, and I know with Carl Taylor there. Just look, I mean, I, you know, look, 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 I've seen Carl T- T- Taylor play for the under 18s under twenty ones at Camford and stuff. And obviously, I didn't, I didn't really take note of what happened at South End that much. But I don't know, it just seems to put on a little bit of a little bit of timber there, a little bit, kind of a little bit more. Mm. So we're playing here again on Monday, is that yes, right? And this, right. but against Granada, who are yeah. a La Liga side. Yeah, much better. So much that'd be a stiffer better. test. Okay, interesting. And and thinking of stiffer tests, it's interesting that one of Parker's things is is keeping the ball out of the net. I mm. don't think this back four has really shown us that, has it? I mean, no. bearing in mind what this is a League One team <clears> that we're playing against. If you were going to be comparative, mm. it'd be like us playing against I don't know mm. Pompey. Do, I know that when you're playing in in friendlies, you're you're only putting in. 75 percent, but in this it it only feels like we're putting in 60 it yeah. it's almost like a training sort of exercise and i don't know i would like to think that i mean i've got a feeling that if we were under the cosh we would then go up a gear and then just blow them out of the water Do but you, you know we, yeah but we, like we're doing just enough and we, we I got a, the penalty was quite unfortunate to be fair wasn't it i mean it was a bit silly yeah oh it was, yeah it ridiculous. wasn't it wasn't because the, the pattern of play earned it a long time over this free kick. You know oh, look, what? This guy's come back on. I almost thought the screen had paused. Yeah. So I was looking to see if uh, nothing had started buffering. So Bournemouth have got a corner on the um on the right hand side here. And when Tom yeah. comes back, I need to go to the very toilet short, as well. And then we'll go over our oh, oh fucking hell. That was rubbish. Well that you know what that's like many a uh, uh, set piece routine last yeah. season, eh? Let's well, let's work on that please, Parker. Yeah. Come set on, Scott. Pieces. Come on, Scotty. Who was that? Jack Stacy. Jack Stacy, yeah. But you know what? There are a lot of rumours to get through um, as we carry on talking today, including Leaf Davies, uh, David. I keep on saying Davis. Davies is Davis. Um, we've talked about Scott Dan, but there's also uh, Matt uh, Grimes as well. Now, the thing that worries me about this, lots of rumours, is that uh, two of those players you mentioned play centre mid. The defensive centre mid. They're not goal getters. No. Now we've already got in that position. Lerma. Yeah. We've got Pearson. Yeah. And I would say probably we've got Steve Cook. Uh, uh, sorry, Lewis, Lewis Cook who can play in mm. that position, that kind of uh, anchor to our midfield. 6 2, mate. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, so why are we being linked with central midfielders that, that are essentially defensive players, not attacking players, when we've got no wingers? What's going on? Don't talk to me about Lerma leaving. I can't cope with it. I can't go. But to be fair, I think even if Lerma weren't leaving, we were saying about this earlier, weren't we? The six game ban. Oh, six game ban. Yeah. Six game ban. What um, about six game ban? Oh, that was a good move. Unlucky. I um, could I could make you feel worse by putting a picture of Jeff Lerma on the screen, mate. Yeah, and yeah, uh, mate. that's what I may be doing in a minute. That's what I may be doing. Um, just yeah, wait till it, I find it. It does seem weird. Like you said, I guess, yeah. I guess you were just obviously heard the end of it there. I guess you're talking about kind of, we are linked with a few central midfield yeah. players. But yeah, I mean, Lewis Cook's obviously not quite ready, but. When he is, you'd expect him to be first choice. Yeah. Pearson will want to be first choice. Biddin's being used today and playing okay. So he's clearly in the thinking. He's bought Mark yeah. there's in. Does that mean... And then the system today would make you think, well, he still wants wingers. Like you say, we haven't got that many wide players. But I say, we were talking before, weren't we? Maybe he doesn't want wingers. Yeah, maybe, maybe he wants, he wants wing backs. backs. But that's not what we're seeing Tinder today. Tinderball. Tinderball. Uh, so Jeff Lerma then, he's on screen. Is it too um, late to get Mark Pugh back? Is it too late to get <laughs> Pugh back? Um, we're in here. What's what's happening with Jeff Lerma then? Is there, you know, you know, let's talk about these rumours because he's a player that many of us expected, oh, that's a good low ball in that was just a Paul Gascoigne-esque foot out there by their striker, but uh, didn't quite connect. Will he go, mate? Will he go? I'm, I think if he didn't get this ban, I'd think, well, there's no way we're keeping Jeff Lerma. Like someone will have him. I think Valencia were linked, like there's Galatasaray. He's too good. Because of the six-game ban, I know it sounds silly because it's only six games, but to make a bid and then sign a player and know that for a new club, for example, you're not going to have him for six games. Then he's got to get used to the way yeah. you play as a team. That'll put people off. Yeah. 
we could end up being, whether we want to keep him or not, whether we want him off the wage bill or not, I think we could end up having to keep him because I don't think any bids will come in. But Parker's got to look at a way of, of getting us going before he's available. Mm. This six-game ban is going to could end up making it a really difficult season for, for Jeff and himself, to be honest. But mm. now I'm 50-50 on it because it wouldn't surprise me if we kept hold of him. I mean, he's out for the first six games anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean... I, I, and that's... And that's no matter where he goes. If he goes to La Liga, that would be the no. same, would it? Or is it? Or is it just in the English? I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Sure, but I would assume he's gone. So I'm just, I'm just at my calendar. Oh, okay. Okay. By the time September the first comes around, which is obviously transfer deadline day, ah, we would have played six games. It's a good point. I didn't think so of that. So he might well go on deadline day. On deadline day. He's the one you got to watch for. I didn't think of that. It's a good point from Tiggs. Thanks for cheering me up yeah. on this Friday. <laughs> where it's beautiful weather out and then you just dealt me that sack of shit. Thanks. It could, so it could be a, it could be a case of we need to have whatever. If we, 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 As soon as we get to the point where we think, oh, it looks like he's not going. Someone might, if you're yeah. a club, you're going to think last minute bid for him. He's now yeah. available. He's had his six game ban. It's a good point. Yeah. I don't remember how much we paid for him. Either 30 million, wasn't it? He was our record time, didn't he? Yeah, Fuck, 30. He was more than Ake. What? I think was he was our record time. I'm sure he's yeah, our record time. Yeah. Right. I remember um, the summer going on and on. It was World Cup, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I remember watching the England Columbia game. Yeah, and that's brilliant skill by Jane Nantley, who is better than Dan Juma, by the way. That is brilliant. Oh, oh I tell you what, Jay Z and JA yeah, combining yeah, there, unbelievable. So yeah, and just, I love, I love the Cruyff turn there. <laughs> you know, love the Cruyff from Jane Nantley. And oh, then, it's got to be a few. And then it's just the feign of a shot from Jay Z, and he didn't shoot, and then he took it on his right foot. Just, I mean, it did go past the post, but already made left side. The post. manufactured a chance there. Unbelievable so scenes. Love Unbelievable it. scenes. That was good. Rico, but, you have to play centre half now. Yeah, but no, I remember that. Um, yeah, that tournament, obviously, when England yeah. beat Columbia on pens. And... Twenty-five million, by the way, for Lama, apparently. Twenty-five. 25. 25. That's still record, isn't it? Still Maybe, record, I think yeah. it was thirty million. Said so Robert. So. Thanks, Robert. How much do we want for him? He's been getting that. He's been getting that. He got to get a twenty million though, minimum. Yeah. Uh, similar to Dan Juma, I'd say. But yeah, I think I remember watching that England game and he was the one that was kicking up the spot in the game yes, when Kane took was. And I remember watching it, but obviously England fan thinking, this Lerma, he's horrible. I hate him. And then we were linked with him and I thought, that's what I want. That's what I want him. <laughs> we, we, but we have. We missed that type of player. And I feel for him because since he's come in, we've kind of done that. Yeah. But he's never let us down. No. Yeah, I do, I do love him, but equally... And when the thing about him is, when he plays crap, we play crap. Yes. If you haven't, if he ain't on form, he's. And there has been, you know, there has been spells where he's not been. Great. I've I've brought it up before with um on here that that Southampton game in the cup where, oh, don't get me wrong, I know that Southampton were Premier League and we were playing Championship teams, yeah. but they were on bad form. We were we got battered, absolutely murdered, and Lerma was suspended. It was the first game Woodgate didn't have Lerma. Yeah. And I remember him afterwards going, we just couldn't cope that. Yeah. And the fact that Woodgate come in as a new manager, he never, when he was available, didn't play Lerma. No. Never didn't play him. And and I remember Lerma like going away with Columbia and turning up and then the next morning being in Bournemouth and then playing the next day. Like we yeah. think, oh, he can't play this game. <laughs> yeah, he did. Anyway. So what about this loan to Valencia then that's rumoured? Like a loan out, no. would it? Yeah, would that would that, that do any sense. you know, that's what Keith Thomas had just put on chat. I mean a loan. Oh, I tell you what, before we talk about that, Carl Taylor, plenty of room on the right hand side. The overlapping run is coming. Yeah. What's happening? Shot come cross, and it was, a, it was a shot come cross Carl that has eventually Taylor. gone out of play. So, Lerma's contract until 2023. So, that would that would kind of make sense because if we, if, if we were to set him out, we save on his wages, we get someone in like that's uh, what I was thinking. They'd have to pay 100% of his wages, yeah. but it'd be worth it. You get someone in like, um, I don't know, who the players we were talking about earlier. You can, play center, you can play center mid. To be fair, what, Pearson, Lewis Cook? Know, <laughs> We've got, got enough. Close. But yeah, Grimes, Downs, people like that. And then you get promoted and you bring back. Yeah. And you're just saving his wages. Because that's the problem we've got, isn't it? We've, we're, you know, Maxim's got money. I don't think it's about that. I think it's about, you know, can we, can we survive yeah. in terms of what we're allowed to spend? And I, I wonder if you, you let him go on loan to... Like a Valencia, for example, when you say if he does all right for you, you've got a um, option to buy for twenty million at the end of the season. Yeah. For example, someone like we that. We made our money on him, haven't we? Yeah. Burn off, you know. Yeah. Paid off. Um, by the way, I feel as though we've missed a goal, and I, I feel as though we need a goal. So I'm going to make a goal happen by disappearing. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah. We're going to make a goal happen by putting three sausages in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Just my good luck charm. <laughs> it's not often I do that. Yeah, I don't know. I just... 
to be fair, I think in the chat we should have enough without love. Come on, you Reds. Yeah, I do, lo- I do love it, but I don't want to let him go. What are you Fuck no. Who's who's who players? We making uh, bringing all the youngsters on now. Are um, we gonna get like a massive subs? Nathan Mariah Welsh, well, Guiane. Like you boys can talk your way through that because I ain't oh, got a clue. Right, okay. We got we're in, we're out. We got our work cut out for us here. Right. I think I'm gonna go with Jake Scrimshaw. How many subs are we the making? Goalkeeper One, change. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Yeah. So we've got Jane Anthony's coming off, Gavin oh, Kilkenny's coming off. Brennan Camp's coming on. Brennan Camp. For Ivan Ron- Rossi, by the way. Yeah, Brennan Camp. That's Brennan Camp. There's Jake Scrimshaw, maybe. Is Sam Sorridge coming on? Yep, Sam Sorridge. Is that Sam Sorridge? No, who's that? That's, that's Scrimshaw. That's Scrimshaw. Where's Sidey? Is, is that Sadie? Sadie. And we ain't got a clue what's happening there. Sadie. He looks like... Look these numbers, though, like from before yeah. he wants to go on. To be fair, it's... Like I said, get... Oh, wait a minute. No, no, that is Sorridge, isn't it? Up front? Yeah, 14, 14. Sorridge. Yeah, he's coming for Slanky. Okay. He's a lovely one. I do though. Get on to that. Would you? Would you be happy going into the season with Slanky as your main striker and Surridge as your backup? Or do you think we I, still need? Because you've got to remember, last season we had King as well, didn't we? And then I we had Shane Long. We definitely need more. Yeah. And I think I would like to see them play together. Mm. Actually, but I don't think it'll happen. So we definitely need more. We need different types of players, different types of strikers. Because I think Solanke, for everything that he brings. It'd be nice if he had somebody who, because he's so good at creating opportunities. Yeah. So it'd be nice if he had someone he could play off who he, who he could create an opportunity for. You know. I think the problem is we've got two, like you said. Then I think we've got two strikers that are decent at the championship yeah. level, but they're good with a partner. And yes. now we're playing with that one up. I don't think either of them no, are suited to that. I agree with you. Because when they, I always go back to that game where. Uh, Jason just went for, right, I'm going to put them both up. Barnsley away. Yeah. And at the time, everyone thought, where's Barnsley away? But Barnsley yeah. ended up being bloody good. Um, brilliant. Yeah, they're, they're, I like them together. But yeah, I, I don't see Parker coming in and playing too. So, yeah. different type of strike. I'll tell you what I thought, watching the Euros a bit, and just because I know he's at a championship club that you like to think are not as strong as us, Kiefer Moore yeah. at Cardiff. I'll tell you what, he puts himself about, he's a proper championship striker. I like him. Yeah. Could we tempt him? I don't know. I, I, it was just a thought. Like, he's at Cardiff. I know he used to be at Yeovil and Dorchester. Yeah. Been down here. Yeah. So I always think of things like that. Like, that's good thinking. Yeah. When I look at a player and I think they've only ever been up north, I think, well, they're probably yeah, going to come yeah, down. Probably, yeah. But he's obviously been down there. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I just remember thinking, seeing him in the Euros and thinking, I'll tell you what, he plays for a team that are weaker than Bournemouth. We could have there. Sam's bought football Sam's over. Ball I didn't even oh, open that beer yet. Oh, sorry. Sam, you know, oh, sorry, man. I'll tell you what. So we'll get back in that. I'm Jeff, yours. you're paying for these. Thanks, I've Jeff. Got, I've got you on, Thanks, just Jeff. in case. Thank yeah, Jeff Hayward for this. Cheers, Jeff. Right, we'll be back in a minute. No problem. I, I'm I'm I don't feel comfortable with Tiggs not being there. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I feel like we've done all right, but 72 minutes. I'm going to put, <sighs> in a, I'm gonna put you in for a secret, Sam. Go on. Show you now. Go on. Well, I looked and I thought, oh, Bournemouth, you can you put a bet on the friendlies. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I haven't seen Bournemouth in a while. What do you reckon I did? Go on. What do you, what do you reckon I did? Three two. We're living on the edge. <laughs> when did you do that? Two quid on three two before the game. Twenty eight to one. So got fifty eight pound if it's three two. They're offering me twenty six pound thirty seven at the moment. That's a hell of a cash out for two quid. I know. Well, I just I looked there. Mate, I, I would do that. Game I, on, and I, I thought. Don't get me wrong. We should win. But uh, you know, in friendlies, you're, I always feel like in friendlies, teams look at the fitness. There's always a few goals, always a bit random. So I went three two. I've got a feeling there's another goal in there. Feel like there's another goal in it. Mm. I don't usually regret it. Let's ask the chat. Go on. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Paul, two, K- we're like, yeah. Paul Kemp. We're like Paul cash out. All right. So what's it? All right. You cash out or cash out for twenty six pound. Yeah. I put on two pound. Yeah. I'll keep going. Keep going. Fifty eight pound if it's three two. You cash out or keep going. Put it in chat and we'll take the consensus in the next like. Yeah. Two seconds, <laughs> two minutes even, and then we'll go with whatever people are saying. I, um, I feel like it's easy to think there's another goal in it, but 50 minutes goes quick, doesn't it? Paul Paul said, No way, it's staying free, too. Um, Chris Hubble said, Cash out, two nil. Chris Edwards, cash three out, nil. uh, Paul, cash out, yeah, got- Ollie, cash out, yeah. Chris, cash out, says Neil, cash out, <laughs> Martin, cash out, Will, cash out, <laughs> Robert, cash out, Cameron. Keep going. I'm with your camera. <laughs> no, I always want to go against everyone. Just Daniel, in. cash out. Garrett, cash out. Mate, you got cash out. I've got cash out. You know. Mate, I mean, that's a profit oh. of what? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's that's gone it. up to £30 pound now. 30, well, there you 29, are. 29, 29. There you are. And you don't want to live to regret it, mate. I've cashed out. 
he's cashed yeah, out. Yeah, Tiggs, I was just saying then, um, when you went. Fuck! Oh, that's cool then. Oh, no, I hadn't done it yet. It wouldn't have been. Yeah, it's yeah, so what I just said then. I put 3 2 on before the game. No. He did, yeah. At 28 Sorry. to 1. Oh, no, cash out. Yeah, so I've just cashed out for £29. I think they're good. We asked the chat. Yeah. Um, so if it's 3 2, I would have got £58. So I'm owed a lot of super chats. Put it that way. But yeah, the chat told me to cut. I put, yeah, I said to Sam beforehand, I saw that you could put on the friendlies. And I, I thought, didn't know that. And I had two quid. I did so, know that, but I didn't, I'd forgotten that. Well, I had to, oh, yeah, I had two quid sat in there and I thought, you know, in friendlies where, because it's fitness stuff, I think, oh, it's bound to be like a weird result. So yeah. I went, might be goal. So I just went 3 2. How much have um, you got left in the back of the net bank? <laughs> what, what? <laughs> Put it all on Stick the net. Stick it game. all on red. I'll tell you what, if it's 3 2 now, I'm going to be fuming with a chat. So I've just cashed out for £29. God, I love a score now. I make it four. It, uh, you know, once you I have cashed out, you, it. it's not like goal. sort of. Um, I don't think it's from us, though. That's it's not. Oh, hello. Oh, go on, please score now. Who's that? Uh, Nathan Mariah Welsh. I'm so, I'm so glad you're here, Tom. I'm so I believe. Right, well, it's the international. The international. It's not like, can I, can we, I mean, I bet sort of every so often, only small amounts, right? Yeah. But you cashed out already. It's not like, in you know, a bullseye, like, let's see what you could have won. So you can't see, like, what you could have cashed out, like, now, for instance. I'm in the 20s. You? What's bullseye? <laughs> 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 you won! And bully special you, prize. On some speedboat. Speedboat. <laughs> On I some things, in the Midlands. I think on <laughs> <Or a> some. <caravan. laughs> I think on some things you can like partially cash out and then keep some in. Oh, okay. But on that one, you just yeah. Because you know, I, mean, I wonder, sort of um, twenty-seven pound up. So I mean, obviously, you know that cash out value is going to intri- you know, going to build towards yeah. whatever you. But I just yeah, I just wonder, sort of. Uh, It'd probably be a thirty quid. Now, what, you know, what, yeah. Well, exactly. Like in five minutes, could you yeah. kind of see like okay, it would be at X amount, but I don't know. I could no, I can't see what it would have been. Um, I mean, I can guess. I reckon it would have gone up by about 50p a quid by now. Um, go on, please. Go. Now I just really don't want it to be free to. But to be fair, if it is, then I'm sure that, you know, the chat will know that they let me down. Super chats galore. Mm. Soidy's a bit of a unit, isn't he, for a young lad? He is, actually, yeah. What a beast. Simon K. Simon K. Well, isn't this lovely chaps? Hi, Simon. Hope Hi, you're doing Simon. well. Uh He's, you know what, Talking Cherries did another chat last night and they're doing these regular Zoom calls every other thursday did one last night so if you're not on uh get on on zoom not next thursday but the thursday after that they'll be chatting all things ac that's a model i want to use more if you're not on get on no. <laughs> you're not that okay. use a lot. A yeah. <laughs> yeah if you're not on get on uh what else have we got uh 29 quid is nothing on botn wages in <laughs> <laughs> uh, if only yeah free money take it said chris um yeah i mean uh, loads of said cash out, mate. Oh, um, I'm out, I'm out. We've we talked about where well, we've talked about Asmir Begovic already. You know, we think as good as yeah. We think he's right. Leaf Davis talked to me about this guy. Oh, we've been rumored him. with him. I mean, yeah. I mean, well, you're related to him, isn't you? yeah. Yeah, he's got the same. He's got the same surname. Um, but yeah, Tom, do you know much about him? All I know is I've I've played with a certain Davis, and I'll tell you what, if he's as good as him. <laughs> Water play. <laughs> no, all all I literally know is he's, I know he's highly rated. And I mean, I suppose if you're if you're Leeds and you're only allowing him to go out on loan, I hear. So mm. clearly, you got to be you got to be highly rated because otherwise you'd you'd look at cashing in. So hello, again, go on, B four. Yes, oh, there you oh, go. Oh, there out. you go. Kyle there Taylor you go. Again. Kyle Taylor. Is that Kyle Taylor again, or is that Jake Swimshaw? No, I think that's Kyle. I think that's Kyle. Oh, Who scored yeah, that? Look at it. Twenty eight. Kyle Taylor. Yeah, I think it's Kyle Taylor. I'll tell you what. If he's got a brace. Scrimshaw's in the yeah, mud. I think Scrimshaw set out, didn't he? Um, he wants to score, actually. Was Scrimshaw score and Taylor set out? Oh, yeah, well, I don't know if like, there are replays in this. Oh, I'm what? sorry for that. I cashed out, no, what, two minutes ago? Cheers, chat. Cheers, chat. Well, well, well done, done, chat. Who was one of the chat that said, stay in? <laughs> Cameron. Cameron, get out. <laughs> get out. Get too out. much money, Cameron. Um, uh, I, I it. think it was... I'll tell you what, if it was Carl Taylor... He's just come on pitch on that right-hand side for Brooksy and ripped it up. Yeah. I think he's brilliant. I like him. I think he's the best player we've ever had. I mean, <laughs> I agree. Who are we talking about? Leaf. Leaf. We're talking I like about Leaf. Yeah. Style. Leaf Davies. Right. Davies. Leaf. <laughs> yeah. If Leeds are only allowing a player to go out on loan, Brielsa only allowing a player to go out on loan, he, he must have something in him. Could it be done in a swap deal for, you know, some kind of deal with Dan Juma? Because we know that Dan Juma wants to play for a bigger side mm. like Leeds. They're, I'm telling you, Bielsa, whatever you think about him, there's no way he wants Dan Juma. Because have you seen what Bielsa asks his players to do? Yeah. Dan Juma's a quality player, but he yeah. ain't a Bielsa player. 
Um, but I think a loan deal for a left back sounds makes sense because he can play left or centre, can't he? So he's, he's, he's like can he Kelly. play centre? Yeah, right, he can play okay. centre as well. But I think they've been using him as a left back probably yeah. because he's more. He's quite slight. Slight. Yeah, yeah that's hmm. perfect word for it. Thank you. Um, I think Kelly's going to use centre half. Yeah, I think I think he is now. Um, and I thought he was going to be, and then Kelly, Rico, Kelly, Rico. You know, I tell you what, I like. I've, I think most Bournemouth fans do like Diego Rico as a part. Like yeah. they like him, but I'm telling you what, if you offered me now, you said you, I would get. Zamora, what more does Zamora need to do? Yeah, to be. A, I think he should be our understudy. I think he's. Mm. I think he's. The flashes I've seen, what more does he need to do? I don't remember seeing many pictures of Rico either. I've seen a lot of pictures yeah. of a lot of players. Yeah. Is, is, is I like... I like Zamora's play, he's done all right. I like Rico's... Uh, he's very good at blocking yeah. and yeah. tackling. And he, he has some stat at some stage, which was like the best in the championship. And he's like interceptions and stuff, which is, you know, really good. But, you know, with the way we play you want him to do more than that. And sometimes his distribution, I find, was just like really bad. I also made the point that I thought that his inceptions was was unbelievable. But I thought, how many of them inceptions were because he gave the ball away? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I do like Diego, but he's he's not... He'll have one... Um, I, I thought the Brentford game where Metro sent off, so yes. he had to come on. Yeah, it was superb. Yeah. But you literally think, I'll tell you what, Rico's all right. Two games later, he's awful yeah. again. And... Do you remember I the Saint... adapted enough? Do you remember the Saints, Saints game, game yeah. we were doing with Ollie yeah. May? We did the watch along, and yeah. the first goal, yeah, we you know we we conceded the first, but the second goal, he was basically like in the middle of the pitch. He sort of ran in yeah. and then created yeah. this huge gap that Redmond or whoever it was could yeah. just you know, well, penetrate that... and then scored it. I mean, I think it's that. Fo- I, good. I would say it as well. It's fair enough. I'd say footballing brain. I don't feel yeah. like like he's got a good left foot. Gets caught out of position. Yeah, good left foot, good tackle. Yeah. He's strong. He's got a whip on him, but positionally, you don't know where he is. Like half the time, I think, where are you, Diego? Yeah. And I, I just don't know if we can, if we're good enough to carry that. No. Mm. And Fun- Funnel would say that to me, and that was when we were in the Premier League. He said that Diego always running backwards, yeah. always running backwards, yeah. never knows where his man is. I tell you where he looked best was when we had the spell where I think we had a few injuries, and he had to play left centre for three. Yeah, I like that. And I, I like think that. I think that's because he had cover at wing back and he had yeah. cover at centre back. Yeah. So if he got caught occasionally, someone would cover it. Yeah. And he wouldn't be go. noticeable. That's a great ball. Oh, oh, what a goal! What a cash! Oh, is he offside? No. Yeah, Sam Sorridge. Is he offside? Is he offside? Yeah. I've I've, I've called that. Oh, fuck. oh yeah, no, he's not celebrating. Oh, you know what? I, don't, I want to replay that. Was a great that. ball. I feel as though I feel as though we're a bit behind or something. So there are some people that have said, oh. I, "No, I think I, I think to be fair, we are probably all good." What a cross that was! But yeah, um, and the way he kind of he almost had both feet in the air and then took it with his right foot, oh, side yeah. foot. Finish Sam Sorridge. Great, great, great finisher. Yeah, yeah. Let's not talk about Italians. <laughs> Can you remember the one Italian we had that never really played? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's let let's not one Italian. I think he was um, in in the squad a few times in like the cup. He never made it. I think he was brought in more academy. Never really made it, and then he went again. It was only a few years ago. We we won't we won't get the answer from you. We'll get it on chat first because yeah, who? I so what? He was the only Italian. What say that again? He was what? I believe he's the only Italian we've ever had on the books. But I believe someone might say I'm wrong. Um, and yeah, you come in. I, I can say the position if you want me to. Oh, I mean, like, would it give it away if you said it? Oh, it might do. I don't know. It was only it wasn't that long ago. Um, Eddie Howe was gaffer. Oh, okay. But it, it never. I, I, I can't even remember. I think. I feel like I might have seen him. Italian. Hang on. I oh, think God, I might is... have seen him once off the bench at a cup game, and everyone thought, "Oh, he might cut," and nothing ever happened. And that was it. Is this really obvious? No, I will tell you, I'm trying was to think. Alone, Tom. No, I feel like we signed him. Okay. I tell you what, I'm trying to think of like what it would remind you of. He was definitely Italian. Yeah, he was Italian. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of like a, a similar kind of sign-in. Um, but it wasn't even Musa because he never really played nowhere near as much as Musa. I mean, I don't think he ever had a league game. It was when we were championship and I believe but, it was promotion season. W- w- was he left back? He was left back. Ben Ben, ben said, Ben said, oh shit, wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, where is it? Ben said, oh shit, yeah, left back, loved him, great on social Ben's media, on never it, saw yeah, him on the pitch. Ben's on, on it. Great on social media, never saw him on the pitch. Yeah, Ben's on what it. What was his name? Italian. I believe I saw him in a cup game and I can't think what it was, like the first round of the League Cup or something and he, he come on for the last two minutes um, and then he was supposed to play in another cup game. Or something. I think we did have one trial yeah. and then we signed him. Yeah, we did. 
Who I remember? Joe Stratford oh. has got it. Filippo Costa. Costa. Do you remember him? Do you two remember him? V I vaguely. Remember like, but I do remember the yeah, name. Vaguely. Left back. Uh, yeah, left back. And I, I I I can't remember if it was the championship Jesus. winning season or the season before. I think it was the season before. It was the season before, yeah. But he came in and we kind of thought, oh, he's going to push Daniels. And it never really happened. And no. then he just went out of nowhere. Yeah. Joe, brilliant. No, Joe, Unbelievable. Yeah, Unbelievable, Joe. Someone can remember another Italian, but I don't think we've ever had another Italian. Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> the man on the pitch at centre back earlier on, I suppose, might be Italian. Rossi, oh, is he? Rossi. Is he? Is he Italian? Is he, or is he a Scottish oh, Italian? Oh, someone get a Wikipedia. I don't say he's <laughs> Italian after all that. He sounds very Italian. <laughs> he does. But... Yeah, I think he is. Ibsen Rossi. No, he sounds Italian. Oh, but I bet he ain't. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Hello, Ibsen Rossi. I love crisps. <laughs> so, while while we're talking about rumours then, until Tom finds out... Born in London. Oh, okay. okay. He has Italian citizenship. So Matt right. Grimes. Yeah. This is another player that we've been linked with. Mm. Um... Do you know much about him? I know nothing. I, you know, like I've, I've got to say, like as a Bournemouth fan, I'm, I'm, I'm only interested in our own side, and my knowledge of anything else outside Bournemouth is appalling. But Tom, I know you watch, like, you know, like, you know, Mongolian fun. football at three a.m. in the morning. I'm sure, but no, go on. I mean, I know he's rated highly. I mean, obviously, he played well for Swansea. Um, I think he's kind of a, a real ball playing centre midfield player. You know, good footballer. And I always remember him at Exeter coming through. Yeah, that's what I remember, and then I kind of forgot about him. How did you know this? I don't know why. Did How you play him near that time? I don't know. I just remember him being a youngster at Exeter. Tom plays a lot of football manager. Yeah, I play a lot of football manager as well. I do, to be fair. Um, I'm Newcastle at the moment. I released Ryan Fraser straight away. Did you? Um, yeah. And <laughs> but yeah, I think he's like a. I'm trying to think of a, a play. Would would I say maybe not as good, but a Lewis Cook style of footballer? Maybe mm. get on the ball, like yeah. to play football. I mean, to be fair, most Swansea players are like that, aren't they? This kind is what gun. concerns me, Thomas. Is like, look, we're linked yeah. to a lot of samey sort of players that I think we've already got depth in compared to other areas. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's weird. That's what. Are we waiting to like sell a Dan Juma so we can go out and get a go mental, go mental and buy like five wingers? Because how much would a Matt Grimes cost? I don't know what his um, <clears throat> contract is at the moment. No, I don't know. But if he's one of Swansea's better players, they don't let him go for nothing, are they? What's? I mean, I mean we got we did so well with Pearson, so well with Pearson. Uh, what, whatever happens, yeah, best thing Jason Tindall done, leave us yeah. with Ben oh, Pearson. On it. Right. Is that... That's great football. It's never going to be free too, was it? What a cash out. What a cash out. Is this Mariah Welsh? You know I got on a podcast the other day because I wrote in, they were doing a segment, a football podcast I listened to, um, and they were doing a segment about players that never played a professional game but play internationally. And I put Nathan Mariah Welsh. What? Because Nathan Mariah Welsh has never played a professional game for us. Because he's never played, yeah. with, but he plays for his country. That's mental. Isn't Guiana, it? and there was like a few players. There's got to be I, only a handful. So I mentioned him. Yeah, Surridge is in. There's got to be only a handful. Yeah, I'm trying to think who else that you now. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think, but yeah, it's normally these kind of obscure African countries that the yeah. players are kind of playing in the academy, but are getting a shout. But oh, God. I, don't care, I don't care what you say. If you play for your country, you're an half decent footballer. Oh, sure are. You're half decent footballer. I've got this book. I've got this book. The funniest football quotes. I'm going to read out a few in a minute. These nice. are like commentators' gaffes and all sorts of things. I got this book from 99p in some kind of like B and M store. So, Cheers, but absolutely, some of them are quality. I'll go through them shortly. Yeah, by the way, are we, are we going to have a beer in the pub after this? Have you, yes, you got time? Please. Yeah, are we going to have a beer in the pub. Yes. <laughs> That's what we're all right. Sh I mean, like, should we? <laughs> shall we invite people? Oh yeah, everyone get down. Right. Where if you're going? if you're in West Parley tonight. Dan get, Dan, get a flight. Daniel, flight Dan, from Florida. Yeah. You just know that he'll be on Skyscanner right now. Fast train, Ben, from Derby. Come on, you can do it. If you're in West Parley tonight and fancy a beer, send us a DM on Twitter and we'll tell you if we're going to the, the pair or the horns or whatever. And um, we'll we'll have a couple of beers and talk about tonight's game and AFC Bournemouth yeah. and everything. If you fancy it, let us know. Because, um, yeah, we'd love to have you involved. And if you are in any locations where we're playing away games this season, you would like to catch up. Let us know. We can't guarantee that we're all going to be at every game, but the chances are that one of us might be. So please do let us know and we will catch up with you. And you can, if you like, if you'd like to, you can come on the show uh, and tell us your thoughts of the game. I just thought you just made me realise that we're going away games again. I, I can't wait. And you made me realise earlier, Sam, that's, I really didn't think of that, that the last time we allowed all fans in was Chelsea and we got Chelsea in that friendly. That's really, I yeah. wonder if they've done that. 
maybe symmetry. not, but it makes, yeah, I like it. But I can't believe we're going to away games. And you know me, Sal, I would have said, first away oh, game, wait, please wait. be Forest. And it's Forest. At Wasps do I can't wait. Nothing. I can't wait to marry some. Uh, marry marry some. <laughs> but, oh, I will be proposing in, in Forest. In that, that Hooters bar. You heard it here first. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, God, who's coming? Paul said, uh, I'd, I'd love to go for a beer, but I can't leave the kids at home they alone. They can bring them along. Yes, they can. Come on. Parker left Steve Cook at home alone. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, go down the, all right. like, we'll go down the pair at Parley. So if anyone fancies coming down the pair at Parley, we'll get a table outside. So, yeah, if we can. I'm yeah. sure we can. Hmm. I can't imagine that. Busy. I, can't, I can hear it from here and I can't. Yeah. So, everyone's, <laughs> everyone's calmed down now as well with the Euros and stuff. Everyone's there we go. Way I think that's full time, boys. Four, Four two. two. Cheers for the, the cash out, boys. Um, yeah, no. I'll tell you what. I, I, it was quite, to be fair, four goals. Looks, it was, it was actually perfect for me. We won the game, right? Yeah. We scored four. And Tom's getting around him. I can, yeah, <laughs> I cashed out. But also, we conceded two, which makes you think, you still need Steve Cook. Yes. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, go on, Tiggs, right? If you had to say, I know we kind of half watched it, but. Yeah. Give us a couple of names that you think stand out. Well, well, Dennis got a clean sheet, didn't he, for when he came on? Oh, that's a good shout. That's a good shout. <laughs> uh, Zamora, was, I thought, was yeah. brilliant. And Anthony was brilliant. And two of them together, I think, look fabulous. Carl Taylor, half time. Carl Taylor is incredible. I thought he was brilliant. Carl Taylor's the best player we've ever had. Um, <laughs> I thought he was yeah. brilliant second half. I mean, it felt like we were playing Real Madrid, didn't it? Yeah. Not not real. Balam Padika Lidens. Real Bella Padica Linense. I wonder if it's Linense. Oh, Linense. Oh, yeah, yeah, Linense. Yeah, yeah, Linense. We need a Jane Lantley song. Jay, did you not yeah. make a Jordan Zamora one? And yeah, you it. did. Yeah, you did. I forgot it. Um, it was one, one of our watch alongs. Um, we'll go and play it back. What's that song? Uh, oh, Zamora. Oh, was yeah. Vienna. Vienna, Vienna, Vienna from Ultravox. Yeah, I've, I've called that for the Zamora song. Tell you, you got to make an Anthony one. Okay, let me think about it. Alexander Bruce Ball from Radio 5 Live. It's now one all, which is an exact reversal of the scoreline on Saturday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Honestly, like some of them, you just think, Fuck, you know, these people in the media. I, I remember like, one with Michael them. Owen. He said some bad, they, they, obviously people take the mick out of him, don't they, for his punditry. And he said some bad ones, mm. some really bad ones. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, no, you uh, know, like, <laughs> Ron Atkinson. I never comment on referees, but I'm not going to break the habit of lifetime for that prat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good old Ron Atkinson. Oh, Ron Atkinson. He got, yeah, he got sacked from ITV, didn't he? Was he actually a good football manager? Because you two are old. <laughs> I can't, you know what? I remember him, I, I remember, I remember him manager. manager. Do you think Sam Adler, Adler, Villa. Allardyce is a good manager? Because that's, essentially they just repackaged him and mm. put him under a different name. <laughs> I think he's good at what he does. I don't think he's now... Sam Allardyce is not a good football manager, no. but old school wise, for what you, yeah. if you want someone to get the best out, of you, a bit Wood, yeah. I thought Woodgate was like a a modern, yeah, yeah. not in the style of football, but no. he'll go in, he'll get the best out, of you. he'll go, he'll put an arm around someone and go, yeah. you're my man, go and fucking put a shift in for me. Yeah. Tactically, he doesn't have a clue, in my opinion, he just lumps up to a big man. Yeah, like Redknapp. Redknapp just admission. got about twenty five million coaches in. Yeah, put everyone around him, yeah. tell him, and then he just picked the best advice, wouldn't he? Mm. Yeah, that's the way to do it. We're um we're gonna be we're gonna be on air until we finished our our beers, okay? So we're, it, this might be another twenty minutes or so. So I know that watch longs usually finish up with, but this isn't strictly a watch long. And um, look, we've got more to get through, including a certain goalkeeper that's been linked with us, Freddie Woodman. We you know briefly touched on him earlier. Do you know much about him, Tiggs? I know he did very well for Swansea. Mm. I think with with a situation like that, I suppose if I've got if I'm Scott Parker, I'm thinking myself, okay, I've got Travers. Yeah. Looks like a good goalkeeper, a good pedigree. Everyone talks about how great he is. But then let's say you're not looking for a goalkeeper, but somebody comes and knocks on your door mm. and says, Look, I got I got Wooden here. He's had a great season last season. We're looking to loan him out. What do you think? Yeah, but he's in Newcastle, what right? Do you do? Yeah, he's in Newcastle. But turn it down there was a, there was some reports that basically he was he's basically nearly there. Yeah. Apart from the fact that Dubravka has got yeah. a foot injury, and they just wanted to find out the outcome of his injury. If it's bad, obviously they probably won't let him go. If it's all right, they probably will. So we're still waiting well, on that. By the sounds of it, Woodman's the number three technically, yeah. isn't it? It goes Dubravka, Darlow, Woodman. Yeah. And then Dubravka, uh, Dubravka's going to got an injury, so you need number two, don't you? Do you know what I mean? It's like 
um we've done it before haven't we you, you if one of your goalkeeper gets injured you need to recall someone and get it all yeah. but they're saying i think it's their number four obviously newcastle are a big football club i think they got gillespie i think his name is who they're now saying they think's adequate for kind of the first couple of months to be a number two yeah so i think it'll probably go through but it's an interesting one you were saying there tiggs i remember that championship season goes under the radar but Lee Camp was doing a fine job. Lee yes. Camp was absolutely fine. We were not look I remember Eddie saying we were not looking for a goalkeeper. We were happy with Lee Camp. I think we had Ryan Allsop as back up. We were fine. But Sam Hampton, because they're local, said to us, Boric fancies some game time. Do you fancy him? And Eddie, rightly so, went, you know what? We've got Champions League, World Cup experience mm. goalkeeper. Just get him. Yeah. We weren't looking for one. And what a move it was. I think sometimes it's not necessarily saying we need a goalkeeper. He said, if they're available, you just can't. He's he got the best record in the championship last season, didn't he? Clean sheets yeah, and stuff. He did. I think you get him. And I think I'll tell you what, I think it's if he come to us and he didn't want to go back to Swansea, that's a bit of a statement. I still I'd still fancy Swansea to be in amongst it, wouldn't you? Yeah, mm. I would imagine they weren't back, surely. Mm. I, I don't know who they would have, but yeah, it surprises me. But goalkeeper situation is weird. I feel like it's been weird for a while since Boric has gone, really. We don't really know what we're doing. I would I'd be happy if we got a new goalkeeper. I'd be mm. happy if we gave Travers a chance. Yeah. I'm kind of I don't know. I feel like Travers needs to be the number one or the number three and go out on loan. Yeah. I don't want him to be sat on the bench all season. No. It's not going to do him any favours. And you said something earlier, Sam, which I think was quite interesting about goalkeepers. Sam said something? He did, yeah. Oh. <laughs> about how well he played against Tottenham. The problem yeah. with a goalkeeper is you can't judge a goalkeeper on one game. Yeah. You've got to charge a, judge a goalkeeper on a series of games because chances are you can have a good game, can't you, as yeah. a goalkeeper? If mm. the strikers are poor, have a bad day, mm. you have a good game. But you've got to have a good game week in, week out as a goalkeeper and be consistent like Beggs has been for us this season. Mm. It's really difficult to get out. People forget about his second game, right? Yeah. Last game of the season, I was out yeah. to be fair. So I had to watch it back. Mm. Learn the sort of screamer. Palace away. Yeah. Yeah? Last game uh, yeah, 5-3 or yeah. something. Ibe scored, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we let him five at Palace and Travers had a mare with Jack Simpson, I think. He was rubbish. Travers was awful that game. Yeah. He had a real mare, but last game of the season, I don't really care. But they, he only played two games that season. Everyone remembers the Tottenham one. Mm. Everyone forgets the Paris one where he looked out of his depth. Yeah. If they were reversed, he wouldn't... You know what I mean? No, he wouldn't have played. Yeah. But I still think you've got to put something on the fact that he's in the island setup and has never come out of it. Mm. So he obviously got the call up for Ireland because of what he was doing at Bournemouth. And Ireland obviously believes seeing him in amongst it, he's good enough to be a part of that. And that's a big... And I think he is a good goalkeeper. It's just, I think you either got to hang your hat on him and go, you know what, you're my man. Yeah. You're my number one until you lose it. Or you say, I still think you need a bit of development. You're still young for a goalkeeper. Go to League One. Go to Pompey. Go to go yeah, and yeah. play some football. I don't want him sat on the bench all season. The other argument is that he's the wrong type of goalkeeper, which sounds weird. But if what? you look at the Joe Hart situation where he was at Man City, mm. right? And they were looking for a ball-playing goalkeeper. Mm. Someone who's going to play the ball from the back. Maybe Travis doesn't do that. Maybe I mean, we know Travis is great on penalties. We know Travis is, you know, that game against Tottenham with the screamers that came yeah. out, he was great. I, but I've never seen him really with the ball at his feet. I don't know. I think that Tottenham game, what I like, I like that he was, for his first, for his debut, I thought he was quite composed on the ball, you know. And he has been brought up with that Eddie, mm. like he would want his goalkeeper yeah. to play. I think, yeah, it is difficult. But if you're a new manager, I wouldn't be surprised in thinking I need some experience. Yeah. I would quite like him to be given the opportunity to be number one but have an experienced guy in there as well mm. to, push him. to push him and say, if you make an error, I'm here. Yeah. But it is, is a tough one. But, but Woodman's not that guy, is he? He's really? not. Woodman's a guy that he's on loan. He's going, I want to be number one every week. Yeah. Simple as. Yeah. And if that's the case, put it this way, if we were to get Woodman, then I'd have Dennis as number two, Travis go and play football. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Or don't get Woodman and let Travis be number one. Yeah. It's But... It's a difficult situation, but a situation that I feel like I'm happy with whatever happens. Mm. If we get a new goalkeeper, who's number one, cool. Mm. We get Woodman, seems like a good goalkeeper. If we don't, and we go with Travers. I kind of trust Travers, personally. It's weird, because I spent 90% of my time watching football, not really caring too much using goal. Yeah. Mm. Last season, if we hadn't had Bex in goal, we yeah. would have been nowhere near Well, else. he got man of the match nearly every week for the first, yeah. So, how yeah, much are we going to rely upon our goalkeeper next season? We have no idea what our defence is going to be like. But do you think you mentioned the point there, Tiggs? I Begovic unbelievable last season. Yeah, best player. Can he play from the back? I don't think he can. No, I don't think he can. But I didn't think it mattered because he was that good. Yeah. I mean, it's just the thing with I hate when you hear about goalkeepers and you hear they're a good shot stopper. If you're yeah, a goalkeeper, yeah, yeah. that's that's of course you're a good shot stopper. You're that's a goalkeeper. Your job. Yeah, your hands. Yeah. Um, 
I want to see. I've never seen Travers in a situation because he's just come in and out. Is he good at command in his area? Yeah. Like, I don't know yet. No, I don't know. And I feel like, ideally, maybe if I'm thinking about it, is it better for him to go out in League One, go and play a season, let's see how he is amongst that? Because I feel like, do you remember Ryan Allsop? I think it was similar. Yeah. I wasn't Rocky. sure about Allsop. We gave him the opportunity. I don't think, I think he was a little bit out of his depth in the Championship. Agreed. He went out. We ended up getting Boric going to the Premier League, so it was never going to happen. And he ended up working his way out to be a decent goalkeeper for Wickham. Yes. And he is a decent goalkeeper. But we probably needed him to go and have another season. So maybe Travers, if I take the sentimental side of it, as I really want Travers to be our number one. Yeah. I think if you had to put it on me, I'd say League One, full season, play every week. Let's see where we're at. Yeah. Or even, he's really lucky, a, a championship club that is not maybe. looking at promotion. Yeah. You know, and one like of the promoted that. teams, potentially, yeah. that kind of situation. But. It's a difficult one because I, I feel like I'm not sure if I want him to be our number one, but I don't want him to go and like leave the club. There's some there's something in there. I haven't seen enough of Will Dennis to comment, but... I'll tell you the other thing that's, that's changed that would have a significant impact on, on this conversation is that Neil Moss has left. Mm. So the guy who is running our goalkeeping department has been changed for Good somebody one. else. They're going to have a different point of view yeah. of what they're looking for from a goalkeeper. Yeah. Do you want to see, do you want to see some footballing talent? Like Sam Davis Here is kicking a football around there. Oh, is this on screen? Is this on screen? Yeah, yeah I can see your legs. Oh, yeah. Right. What I'm do, if we like... just say, if we we told this video, we've seen Davis play football, they might think it's Leaf Davis. What I'm going to do, if this can be captured on screen, yeah, I'm I'm gonna, if I can. have it can in it? the right like that, yeah. and then I'm going to catch it. It's on embarrassing. My foot. Go on then. Go on then. Did he? Did Nearly. He? We'll do that in the edit. Right. One more chance. We'll do it the other way around. Right. It's embarrassing. It's, it's, it's happening. Oh, Tom, this is why I need you. Why? Why I need you to hold the ball for him. <laughs> I'm going to link up. Oh, oh! I'll tell you what. Well, Dave, Come on! Where would you say your position is on 11 a side, David? So I've, I've only played in with the Sam. In the changing room, mate. I've only played with... No, like, credit where credit's due. I've only played with you, like, six, seven a side. Yeah. So you never know a position there. Where's your 11 a side position? Le a, a left midfield. A left wing. Yeah. We need a winger. <laughs> We do a new one. Oh, imagine Davis, Davis. I mean, could you there. imagine that on the pitch? Yeah. You know, do that. Set it in the centre circle. You know, like, I've always wondered. I, you know, like I see these guys on YouTube that are like unbelievable with the ball. Like they're kind of like these street artists yeah, that can do. I wouldn't call myself a YouTuber, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, but they're, you know, they can't play, can't play football. football. The best Different people skills. I've seen that can do all the skills and that. They're rubbish in a level yeah, side match. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The amount of players that I've seen that are really good at sixes, and then you. And I think I play six side. I think he's a good player. Why is he not playing elevens? Getting from my eleven side team, useless. Why it's is a that? Completely different game. Completely different game, yeah. isn't it? It's because of the size of the pitch. Yeah, I'd say so. Mm. It's all more about. Yeah, I don't know. You can go missing a bit in vision. Well, put it. There. I, I've, I've played with Sam. I reckon if Sam was honest, if I <laughs> played with him as six seven aside, he would say, "Oh, I must be like a, a striker or a winger." Yeah, I'm not. I'm a fullback or a defensive midfielder. Yeah, it's completely different at eleven aside. What's going on in the chat, here, Sam? Stick to the day job, Sam. Yeah. Says David Corder. Sam. Is Sam great. Juma. Sa 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 <laughs> Sam is greater than Dan Juma, but yeah, Sam Juma. Sam Tackers. Juma. Tackers. Well, Ken was in there. Ken was quite good, you know. Is Kenwood a decent player? Yeah. Ken was a decent well, player. let me try and predict Kenwood position. Go on. I feel like Kenwood could be a rock at the back. He's not. Where is he? <laughs> He's a right winger. Right winger. Oh, <laughs> man, I love Kenwood putting balls in the box. Yeah, he loves it. I want to see it. Yeah. Get down the pair. Right, put the kids to bed. <laughs> down uh, the kids pair. to bed, down the pair. They've got a ball. They've got a big bit of land at the back. Tixie, where do you. <laughs> Well, have you got a position? No, I'm rubbish at football, mate. Yeah, no, I know that. But have you got a position? I would have said you were a winger. Missionary. No, uh, <laughs> I, um, I, I usually played right back. Okay. Right back or centre half. When I played against, a, when I played with a guy who was really good, I played centre half. You're too bit. nice to play centre half. Yeah, centre half. Mm. I feel like I'm, I'm too nice to play centre half. I used to shout a lot. I'd loud. Wait, this. should we? Right. Like a yellow should, carpet, right. Should we? Should we talk about a few things that people don't really know about us? Right. Okay. All right. Right, okay. For people at home, right? Mr. Tiggs here oh, has got an entry on IMDb and not for back of the net. No. We, I mean, like we won't talk about it. No. We won't mention the name of the film. We may, but he what has a got film. what a film. <laughs> he, he he has. He's he's actually been in a film before, and he's got his own IMDb page, which yeah. we didn't realize. Right. So this is like home truth section. Most people also don't realise that Jeff Hayward is lead singer of a band. <laughs> He's gonna hate you. Like, <laughs> right. Oh my god, that track, that track. Everyone's a bastard, everyone's a bastard, oh, everyone's a bastard, everyone's a bastard. That that 
took oh, me by surprise. It's like football. it's still not a pre football football. Uh, should I, like, should I try to find it and get it up for people to see? I'm Jeff not Hayden sure. If, hell of a I'm not sure if I'll be able to find the exact clip, but people will be like, yeah. "WTF, Jeff Hayward? What's your what's your secret, Tom?" Um, <laughs> I feel Tom. Like, under, yeah, I know. Don't be, tell that secret. Yeah. I can't yeah. talk about. We get demonetized. We talk about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, not about that, am I? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've, I don't feel like I've got. I feel like because I'm so youthful. Yes. That my career is ahead of me. Yeah, you, you we talk about we talk about the Tigs of the world, the yeah. Jeffs of the world, and we talk about what they've done. When we talk about me, we talk about what I do. Please tune in after the Nottingham game to see Tom's wedding. Like <laughs> this, this feels like we've all gone sort of ITV two a bit. Like you know, as soon as the X Factor this is ends, a, this is yeah. this is over back to, to the extra. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back to the ex- what extra can we call time. It? Fingers some names. How many people are actually watching this still, Sam? Uh, we got ninety five. Why is there ninety five people? <laughs> what would Why? you call it? Why in the chat? What would you call like a back of the net extra? What yeah. would you call back of the net extra? What would you Go call on. It? Um, I'm. I'm nearly there. Like as soon as we're done, yeah, then then we'll head to the pub. So look, look, well, uh, it's it's eight oh three by eight ten. We'll be off there. Texas had all, all the right. poppers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But there's a few sausages going spare. Sausages going spare. Mm. Not even hooters yet. Well, that was a, a wonderful game. Yeah, could, I mean, I mean we didn't get much out of it. I mean, I, and we won't. It, it didn't feel anything different to a to an Eddie Howe friendly to a Jason Tindall no. friendly. I mean, it wouldn't though. Would it? it wouldn't. Uh, any major changes in style? No. But the, I know I know in the first half there were a few, in, in Jacob Tanswell's opinion. But from my point of view, looking at how we were playing on a Tindall, how we were playing a Woodgate, I didn't see anything specifically different. Anything no, that made me think, oh, that's a bit different. To I think it's doing. a I think it's a massive game for the youngsters, like yeah. we're talking about. It's it's their chance to stake a claim. For the first team players, it's fitness. Yeah, I think the difficult thing is I think it'd be more interesting on Monday in terms of it's Granada and they're a decent outfit. We don't really know anything. How can we compare? We don't know if these lot are, would beat Warsaw or no. if they would beat Palace. We don't know. No, no, no. Um, so it's difficult. But I think these first couple are more about fitness and things like that. And he'll have a little... I think, to be honest, he's trying to look at some of these youngsters and think... Because I always say there's no point of looking at the youngsters when they're playing with the other youngsters. You want to see no. what they're... Lo- how, how do they compare when they're with the experienced players? Do they look at, at their depth or not? So is there a Samura doesn't. Ant, doesn't. First half, second half then. Because we made them wholesale changes, didn't we? Like eight changes. So when you look at those eight changes, you probably think, what's that actually telling you anything? The, the weird, too many yeah, changes there. Yeah, no, I agree. Too many at one point. The, the weirdest thing, like I said before, was we looked stronger than Cole Taylor come on for Brooks. And that's mad. Yeah, he's mad. Um, that is mad. But equally, I look, to, for, to Brooks's credit, he's, he's using it as fitness. Whereas yeah. Cole Taylor's using it as this is my chance. Yeah. So it's okay. different. Different mindset. Um, I would still say that to try and take it away from the youngsters, I still feel in that first half, for experience, Bill... yeah. I thought Billing was the one linking things together. I think uh, someone said that earlier, and that's a good sign. So, who didn't play tonight, Tom? Yeah. So, Rico didn't play. Uh, Lerma didn't play. Lerma didn't play. Obviously so, we expect to see these players in the next game, don't we? Oh, right. Who's travelled? Yeah. Ben Pearson. Yeah. Lewis Cook's a difficult one because obviously he had that big injury, but I'd expect him to maybe get at least 20 minutes on yeah, Monday, yeah, yeah. hopefully. Um, Adam Smith? Yeah, it's much. Because he, he did travel, didn't he, after yeah. some contract? Yeah, he did. He did. So you got Smithy, Pearson, Rico. Not a lot, though. Didn't Lerma travel? Yeah, he's joined up, isn't he? Is he joined yeah, up? Yeah. 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 But yeah, him and Lewis Cook are ones that I think would get minutes, but not maybe start the game. Pearson, I like to see. We've got, uh, whatever happens with anyone, Pearson, this got to be a season. He's got to be the main man in that movie. Piero's got to be. I mean, yeah, Piero, Piero and Lewis Cook, Piero, if we get those that. two fit together, could they play together? Yeah, we've never seen that, have we? Never. You're talking about without Lerma, which is yeah, hard to talk about. But I am talking about without Lerma. I think that's a good pairing. I think I do think that's I a think good that's pairing. Strong. If you've got Billing in front yeah. of you, or, or Mark Hondes. Hondes. yeah, yeah, who we played first half tonight, and I didn't even notice he was there. Or I'd was. like to see, I'd like to see Brooks playing that position. I would like to see at least in a friendly, maybe a Chelsea game where we're at home. Yeah, we've got the fans there all watching. You know, we're getting close to the. Let's see Brooks in that ten. Yeah, let's see him there because sometimes I. A bit critical of Brooksy because I feel like the hype's so big, so I'm kind of like, let's calm down. Where's the results, if you know yeah. what I mean? But I feel like he's not a winger. No. He always plays wide, and I, I would like to see him. Yeah, I would like to see him off the striker, kind of having that flexibility. So, especially off a season where he's been playing opposite Dan Juma, who's a yeah. very different type of player, isn't he? Mm. And we're targeting Dan Juma, so yeah. so Brooks is having to come in all the time. Yeah. I would like to see him in that ten. Yeah, I agree with you there. But 
Yeah, um, but we haven't got any wide options at the moment. Right, Stan, you're going to sign your contract, mate. But I'm telling you, Jay Jane Nantley is... We went last season. Jane Nantley's got more chance of playing more minutes than Raquel made it, yeah. in my opinion. I think Jane Nantley looks, looks a player. No, and I, he, I, I think he's going to get minutes. I think he, if, if you had to say to me now which youngster is going to come through, I'm going Jane Nantley. And he played left wing... But he's right footed, didn't he? So he was cutting inside. He was like, his goal was Dan Juma esque. Yeah. It was, it, 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 I know we're joking about it, but he'd come in it from the left, come yeah. to his right foot and put him in the bottom corner. Five, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, we still haven't got a song. Don't you wish your winger was Anthony? Oh, I like that. Don't you? There you go. Don't you wish. I like that. Okay, we're going to sing that. We're gonna what, sing that what out. have you been doing anyway? You've been doing some tech been, stuff over here. Well, it's, it's the thing is, right, we've, we've been talking about Jeff Hayward. Oh, I feel no. as though people deserve to hear. Does Jeff know you're doing this? No. What's Jeff? Where's Jeff? It's on Jeff, mate. It's on. Sales are going to go through the roof. It's on Facebook. So like, oh, is that, and you can so, find this on uh, all good, well, Spotify. You can find it on Apple Music. Any uh, streaming music service, you can find their music. Right. So What's the Jeff's going to lose his head. Fractured. Fractured. He's going to lose his head. <laughs> is he get, like? If I play this, will he? Will he lose his head? I don't know. I don't think he will. All right. So no the, comment. because we're doing this ad like, hoc, the audio quality might not be too great. But we'll roll with it. How many right? people are on? So How many people are alive? We've all... Uh, there's only 80, <laughs> Boy, 80, 80 we've people lost, are here for Hayward. We've lost, we've lost, lost, 50, we've we've lost like a third, a third of our audience. Um, however, it's... I mean, like we've all told our inner, like, inner secrets. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I think most of us have. You know, I've been doing like tricks well, over done? there. I've, done? I, you know, I've been telling you no, that yeah, I'm a... There's no secret here, I'm a street artist. <laughs> so this is um Jeff Hayward, right? He's a lead singer for a band, and hopefully you can all hear this at home. This is this is well. Come on, let's let's just play it. Here we go. Due to public demand, <laughs> you know, I mean, so people uh, at home will be able to hear this. Can they see hopefully, it? yeah, they can see it. They can hear it loud and clear. Many of you were born, Jeff Hayward and... singing. <laughs> so at this stage, you're thinking, is he going to come out with a? With a song that's kind of like quite tepid or and a ballad, a power ballad. For us was the song about, it was about being lonely, being unloved, being, being How's a bit it fragile, if I'm honest. It's going to be a yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So good, though, isn't he's it? gonna hate us. He is, but it's so good. I get, or I can get it off now. That's a teaser. And if people want to see that, they go and see it. Do you know what I mean? The full version. But I agree. I'll tell you what? Right. So what a teaser. <laughs> I remember when you. I remember when I got that teaser, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Yeah. I mean. Tigsy is an actor. Sure, we all know that. That's not a surprise for anyone. Yeah. We're going to put it in chat now, okay? In chat is yeah, a link comments. to Jeff's band. We want to see everyone who is watching this video at the moment. We want to see you liking his page. He's going to wake up tomorrow being like, 20 new likes? What the yeah, hell's going on? I, I want to start a, a campaign right here and now, okay? So we know that Jeff's band, essentially they've retired and they did their last gig. Yeah. But if we get promotion this season, back of the net, Sponsored promotion party, yeah. so we get fractured. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine to be fair, Jeff I reckon, on lead vocals. I reckon we could, we could definitely do some sort of tune, couldn't we? I mean, yeah. I don't know about film, Tiggs, but you could, <laughs> I don't know about film. You could, you could, you could bring some sort of act into the party. I reckon we could get someone going there. Hey, was uh. Fucking Davis is doing some sort of keepy ups in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I. There's one where I just want a little bit more of that. I just want a little bit more so people at home can see because it's so good. It is. Good. It's so so good. Come on. There's definitely one where he's he's done it in a bomber shot as well. Uh, yes, yeah. He's done that. He's done quite a lot of football first, but somewhere. Yeah, mid table. Yeah, mid table. Please check out their albums. All good shooting platforms. That's the picture, right? I love that. 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 Oh my god, Brazil! Jeff Hayward, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Right, 
I think we're nearly done. Right, we're going to the pair at Parley for a couple of beers. If you want to join us, you're more than welcome. <laughs> on the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It was a pleasure tonight. I think I think we pretty much covered everything. One thing we didn't actually mention was um, the um, a number of fans were having some issues with their tickets on the new AFC Bournemouth. Well, it, it's a relatively new system that they they launched a while ago, and they sent an email out to everyone saying, log in now. Yeah. And then what they do is they migrate the points across. But I think for a number of fans that didn't, they had issues. Therefore, for the Chelsea friendly, where you had to have one home point, an away point yeah. or a cup point, they weren't able to get tickets. So it all caused a bit of a shitstorm. The club have acknowledged there's an issue, but fair play to the new group, the uh, supporters experience group, who already, despite having no like formalised uh, route of communication, already have, you know, th you know they're on it as well. So, like I put on Twitter earlier, it's so good to see a viable supporters group being a single voice, you kind of acting on behalf of all fans. So, I think that's a positive thing. And if you're going to the Chelsea friendly, we look forward to seeing you there. I'm sure we'll be doing uh, a bit of content one way or another. But yeah, it's been it's been a pleasure tonight, Tiggs. Wonderful. Thank, thank you, you so much. thank you so much. Really enjoyed it. Thank you for inviting me around, buddy. It's been really good, uh, and hopefully. Monday will be another cracker mm -hmm. and we'll get to see some other faces on the pitch. Yeah, definitely. Look forward to it. Yeah, it's been great just to watch watch the boys again, hasn't it? We haven't watched we haven't watched Bournemouth for a while now. It seems like seems like a while now since heartache. So good to see him out on the pitch. Four goals. Happy days. Granada Granada on Monday, bit of a stiffer test. Definitely, yeah. They're, they're a decent outfit to be fair. I remember us um talking and Neil Dawson mentioned in their manager as well. Mm. They've got a good young manager, so they're a good sort. I've actually got Granada kit, as I told you earlier. So mm. a big good would game. You, would you if if we yeah, would you possibly wear that on Monday? If we lose, I'll wear it. Yeah. Yeah. Tinderball. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching this very different type of summer series show. Hope you appreciate it. If you want more of this kind of stuff, if us just having a having a chit chat, then smash the thumbs up and also leave a comment as well. But if you're not subscribed, subscribe. We really appreciate all your support. Thanks very much for watching. This has been Back of the Net. We'll see you soon. Love the cherries. Love the cherries. Love the cherries. Back of the net. Back of the net.